Hello and a very good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. What a day we are having today here at Crafters TV. It has been super uber busy because we have got launches galore. Um, and if you missed launch day earlier on, you, you need to go back and watch it. You need to go back and watch it because it was a brilliant show. And it was the show where we launched here on Crafters TV, the Gemini Pro. Oh yes. And also we might, we might have just done a little sneaky peek of what we're launching in this show. Just a little, we didn't mention them too much all right we mentioned them quite a lot the jigsaw dies are here as well if you um didn't get your hands on them in the last show this is kind of like the official launch of those uh, but i will fill you in where we are as far as stock is concerned a little bit later on but let me just tell you it is going to be a busy old show and when we get shows like this we need the best to be here with us my absolute fave my running partner in crime who i love going running with at stupid o'clock in the morning. I mean, it is my favorite thing to do. It's the thing I mark in my diary each and every week and go, ha oh, ha, past five tomorrow morning. Yes, running with Sarah. <laughs> do you know, so Ben said last week, oh, you're gonna go running this week. I'll bring me running gear up with me. <sighs> and he knows I run at half past mm. five in the middle of the week. So then he says to us the other day, he says, are we running at six o'clock on Wednesday? <laughs> I said, no, we're running at half past five. That's what time I run. Anyway, I went along with six. Now here he is. Are we running at half past six in the morning? I said, no, it's in my diary, Ben. You can be on the driveway at six o'clock. We're going running in the morning. Uh, yes, you'll be exhausted by the time I finish with you. I've sort of had double Sarah day already. So we've already had two hours of the Gemini Pro launching. As Ben said, we were particularly naughty mm. and we were supposed to be saving the jigsaw for this show, but we previewed it a little bit in the last show. Uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you have ordered that and have already got your jigsaws winging their way to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be really naughty and preview what's on tomorrow's show. But uh, <coughs> if you're in Club Inspire, it's already live on the website. You can go and get it ordered now. So, uh, yes, we've got busy jigsaw. We're going to be doing more work with the Gemini Pro. We've got some out of this world deals. You and did we've the voice got some, I did really good with you. That was great. Said, yeah. And then I can't wait to show you these interchangeable sentiment dies. That's officially Craig's launch day tomorrow. They are phenomenal. So we will look at those later in the show. I always like to give all the last, the, you know, the stragglers who don't quite get in for four o'clock, a little bit of time to get in, get the cup of tea and get settled before I start any exciting demos. So uh, we're going to be looking at those, maybe it's 10 past, quarter past. Um, in the meantime, Ben's going to give you a preview of what's coming up on the show and I'm going to get ready to go straight in with the jigsaws, Ben. Brilliant. I cannot wait to see more of the jigsaw um, demonstrations. Um, hello to everyone who's in. We've got so many watching. Julia's in from Colorado. Georgianne from Florida. Deborah from Texas. Tina from Alabama. I like, I like saying that. Alabama. It's a great, it's a great place. Alabama. Uh, North Yorkshire. Lil J Craft is in. Linda's in from Maryland. Uh, Clarendon's in from Arizona. Les55 says, good afternoon from Washington, UK. That's Washington, UK, not US. Just up the road. Uh, Pamela says, morning from Oregon. Kathy says, hi from Arizona and Donna Sunshine says Donna Sunshine love your name Donna Sunshine uh, morning from Virginia Betsy's back in good morning from Houston Texas ready for round two ding ding seconds out uh, Yolanda says yes I can finally watch the demos without interruption Fred 171 on YouTube what an intro Ben I know I like to save the best ones for Sarah good morning Sarah says Windstar 2018 uh, hi to Yolanda hi to Andrea who's already ordered the jigsaw dies uh, and Mickey G on YouTube says so excited to watch this show as I've already ordered both sizes of the jigsaw dies along with a few other things lol i'm loving your work everybody keep those comments coming and get social with us on facebook and youtube um, and if you've got any of the goodies that we've already got on this show, if you've got any of the jigsaw dies, you've been working with them, let us see your makes. Um, if you've already got the Gemini Pro and you've been working with it, tell us why you love it. Tell everybody else why you love it and send in your pictures to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk um, is the email address. Now, just before I get on to um, handing over to Sarah and doing all the demos and whatnot, I do need to just remind you, or maybe you haven't even heard the news yet. Big news, big news, new schedule, schedule. 
schedule or schedule, whatever you call it. New lineup, we'll call it new lineup, it's easier. Uh, starting on Monday, our new spring lineup is here. We've kind of adapted things just a little bit. We've listened to you guys and uh, what you want to see here on the channel, and I think you are going to love it. In fact, I, I say I think, I know you're going to love this. Already loads of you saying how much you love this new lineup. So, as of Monday, first show of the day will be 12 till half one UK time, that is 7 till 8.30 Eastern. Then three till five is our second show here in the UK, which is 11 till one. And then the third show of the day will be seven till nine UK time, which is two till four Eastern time. So we've shuffled things along just a little bit. Now these two shows here, the three till five and the seven till nine, this is where you're gonna see the shows that you already know and love. Things like launch party, launch day, things like your cartloads, things like your color me happies, all those shows which you love are gonna be in these two slots here. Oh Ben, I've just thought, you know what we should say we've done? We've done the slide we slided them back a couple of that words like that do you not think that would be a really good addition to this explanation we've slid the shores back a couple of hours no not good uh, in my head that was really good that we've slid them back we've slid them back a few hours and then you don't have to get out of big one go on, go on, go on, go on. we just do another yes oh. that's what we're so that's the new thing we've slid the shores back a couple of hours so you don't have to get up at stupid o'clock in the morning to watch them. So any, anyway, as I, as I was saying, we've done the little <laughs> slide. Um, and basically, this one here, right? The 12 <laughs> to half one show, Monday to Friday. I know what you're thinking. 12 to half one. Where's the wake up call with Craig gone? It's going to be here, 12 till half one UK time, uh, 7 till 8.30 Eastern. So you get a bit of a line, really. Craig gets a line as well, which I know he's uber pleased about. We'll chat more to him about that later on because he's here for the craft bolt uh, a little bit later on. But I've got that one. I've got it sorted. Are you ready? Good. <laughs> no, it should be oh, the other way around. Oh, You're going to bed. Be sleep yeah. and then slide. Do it again. The sleep and slide. Uh, Do it again. Here you go. So here you go. <laughs> drinking in between oh shows my oh my god you wouldn't believe this i've got like a whole glass of water <laughs> hey Sorry. hey that's not water um, yep, so you can sleep and then slide into the new showtime at 12 to half one. Basically, 12 to one will be the wake up call with Craig. He'll still be the front man of that. Joe and I will be jumping in, uh, no doubt, to help him out and cause some havoc and chaos. Uh, and then the second half of that show, the, the last, last half hour, should I say, uh, Craft Bolt will be here. That show slot on a Saturday, 12 to half one, becomes play your craft right where we are going to be doing fast paced shows we are going to be doing demos and also giving you the chance to win uh prizes as well so you'll probably be going <laughs> i can do that for you as well i can do that for you as well you yep. know somebody's actually written here are you too drunk are you too drunk i didn't we'll start it. it aka the crafty crafter on on youtube are you too drunk uh but kristen says yay now i can watch craig it's hard waking up at 4am somebody else says that's a great time for craig's show because that's work time lunch good point mickey g says we need a weekly craft along show guys it is in the schedule at least one a week but they will change throughout the week depending on well which days we've got launch days and everything like that so that's all coming i promise you we're listening. We're doing exactly what you ask for. And then on Sunday, Sunday I haven't got a slide yes. for this one, uh, 12 to half one uh, <laughs> will be softer side of life. We've shifted this because there's loads of soft crafters out there who said, you know what? I'd quite like to be able to kind of um, sew along and craft along with you on a Sunday. And I think Sunday morning sort of lends itself to a bit of soft craft, doesn't it? So 12 to half one uh, is the new time for softer side of life on a Sunday. Hopefully all of that made a lot of sense. Uh, right, now, on this show, we have got the jigsaw dies. These are phenomenal. Um, now, you are gonna get the opportunity to grab your um, 10, by eight, 10 by eight multimedia jigsaw die, which creates you a 48 piece jigsaw. It is 
phenomenal. You're going to get mount board to go with this as well. And it's super, super simple. You decide the photos that you want to print off to make jigsaws out of. As we were chatting about earlier on, you know, if you want to um, do your own sketches and drawings that you want to make jigsaws out of, you can do. You know, imagine doing this with the kids and letting them make their own jigsaws, taking their creations that they've drawn, making them into jigsaws. Oh my word, these are phenomenal. This is already right. I know you're going to say, how can it be? Because you're only 10 minutes into the show. We sort of sneak peek this earlier on. Over 60% of the stock of this has already gone. Um, so grab it whilst it's here. 49.99 or 59.95 is the deal for the 10 by eight. The five by seven, is also still available for you. Uh, over 50% of the stock of this has already gone. 29.99 or 39.95 with the die. And of course, you will get your 20 sheets of um, mount board included with that as well. There's more mount board available for you on the uh, website. Um, so stock up on that whilst you can. But the kind of thing that you can do, I mean, absolutely, this is one of my faves, uh, which we showed a little bit earlier on. So you can create a little box to pop in your jigsaw. You've then got the actual jigsaw picture itself there. And then look, all of those jigsaw pieces. And it is honestly just brilliant. I said it earlier on, a few years ago, I sent off to a company to make a jigsaw. Um, of a, a picture of my daughter that I wanted. It cost me just, well, with everything in, it was just shy of 40 pounds, which is just, well, ridiculous when I think about it now. When I think now, for 30 pounds, 39.95, you can create as many jigsaws as you want. Um, and it's such an easy process to do too. And the great thing is, again, if you didn't see the earlier show, not just kind of like your standard square or rectangular jigsaws. Sarah earlier on made a jigsaw um, heart-shaped. I'm not even joking you. Um, it was so cool, Erin. $29.99, $39.95. Now, um, the little sneaky peek that we want to give you is of the uh, interchangeable sentiment die collection. 30 elements in total here for $74.95. Do you want me to do the boards at this point or just show you? I'll tell you what. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you these. Uh, $84.75 or $74.95. These are officially here as of um, tomorrow, but we are going to be looking at these in detail. Well, I say in detail, we'll do some sneaky peeks uh, today um, on these. So you have got, included in these, uh, your interchangeable uh, butterfly foliage, which comes with, you get all of the um, dies to be able to create the aperture and then the layer as well. And then you've got the interchangeable sentiments. So happy birthday, happy thoughts and happy Easter. Super useful because that's on the horizon. Uh, you're then going to get your interchangeable uh, regal frame. Thank you just for you and miss you. Uh, you're then also going to get interchangeable wildflowers. Um, so you've got your sending love in there, sending hugs and sending kisses. These are just beautiful. And I love the fact that you can change the sentiments in here. Best times, uh, best of luck uh, and best of friends. Uh, then you're going to get also with this, your interchangeable um, ornate swirls, birthday wishes, uh, get well wishes and sending wishes. Uh, and then you're going to get this one here, which is your uh, interchangeable pretty florals. This one's got condolences hopefully you won't have to use that too often uh, celebrate and also congratulations and just to give you a bit of an idea as to the kind of things that you can make these are absolutely amazing i mean seriously literally so easy to pop together once again all of the dyes do all of the work for you and the fact that you've got the ability to change the sentiment uh, three times within each of the dyes they are just just brilliant. Something for each and every occasion with these. As I say, officially launching tomorrow, but we are certainly going to be showing you these in a little bit of detail on the show today. If you want to get them now, grab them. $74.95 or $84.75 is the deal on those. Now, we've also got on the show, loads of hunky-dory goodies. And I know there are lots of hunky-dorians who love uh, all of the hunky-dory products. This is the buy the show, the collection. There is so much within this, all right? So what I would say to you is go to the web if you wanna get the full collection. What you've got on the buy the show, the collection is your Violet Delights collection. You've also got within this your springtime wishes and your wonderful waterfalls concept cards. So basically, as you know, with Hunky Dory, you're gonna get all of your die cut toppers. You're gonna get your card stuck in there as well. You've got all your inserts in there too. You've got your little books included with there as well. There's just so much within these collections. And of course, the concept cards available with these as well. I love the Hunky Dory kit simply for the fact you get so much for your money, 
But then, if you are someone who's brand new to crafting as well, you've got pretty much everything done for you. So this is from the Violet Delights collection. They've really hit the nail on the head once again here, Hunky Dory, because you've got so many beautiful colours, beautiful images uh, as we head into sort of springtime. And actually, when you look at some of the glorious designs you're going to get, this is in the Violet Delights, perfect for things like Mother's Day coming up. Love that old-fashioned typewriter. Then you've got... Uh, within this your second collection on the buy the show uh, which are all these beautiful uh, birdies you've got more florals in here too I mean take a look at this if you love doing your 3d projects look at this little um, birdie here if we turn that round look, that look at that I mean, the depth that is and detail just gorgeous Lush. And it's so easy to do, isn't it? With Hunky Dory, yeah. um, for first timers, these kits are fantastic. So that's the second collection you're going to get in the, by the show. And then here's your little waterfall concept cards that you've got included. And once again, oh, hang on. It's I hard did. doing waterfalls back to front, upside down, isn't it? Is, let, hang on. let me try this one. On let me go side to side, might be a bit easier. There you go. Yeah, a little bit easier. You can do the side to side. Side though. to side, but not, not upside down, back to front. I'm not trained in the art of that uh, quite yet, like Sarah. But that is all included. Oh, there's one more here. Let me just see if I can do this one. Ready, George? Ready, George? Ready, George? Ready, George? Ready, George? Oh, nailed it. So that is all included within, you have to make your own uh, sound effects, obviously those are not included, but that's super awesome, right? So you get all of that within the Hunky Dory by the show. Check the web for the full details on everything, but it's a whopping collection. If you wanna go for those individually, you can do, but the by the show is 90.16 or 132.82. Right, let's get on to jigsaws because there's so many of you wanting to see the demos, so many of you uh, wanting to see um, how easy these are to put together. Uh, lots of people loving the show already. Uh, Gilmore on YouTube saying, uh, I want what Sarah and Joe are drinking. I want what you're drinking, Gilmore, because I'm Ben. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Sarah, what are you going to show us? He's such a tinker. <laughs> Talking about our lovely Joe, though, I thought we could make a jigsaw for a very jigsaw big Joe. Joe. Yes. Look, he's a nice picture of our Joe putting his makeup on just before. Yes, you thought he looked that gorgeous in real life. Oh no, 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 no. This is this is Joe getting ready for a Crafters TV show. He's got a trowel under there as well that he spoons <laughs> it on with. <laughs> so I thought we'd make Joe a nice jigsaw, right? Now, here's what you're gonna do, folks, right? You get the jigsaw dice. Where are my dice at? Oh my, I'll put them under here, right? So we've got two, two sizes. We've got the 10 by eight or we've got the five by seven. Both of these sizes, folks, we are doing with a pack of the mount board in at this size. Now, you don't have to use mount board. If you want to do these and you want to do them and just use them on cardstock, no problem at all. I love to use mount board because they become like proper real, like proper jigsaws. Yeah. The proper, you know, where, and if, you, if yours are going to get put together and take the part as often as the ones in our house do, you want the mount board. So it's a 20 sheet pack, but you can also stock up on extra sheets of the mount board or don't have to get them today. You know, just any time when you're getting down to replenishment, you can just pop another set in your basket when you're ordering sometime, okay? So here's what I'm going to do, Ben. I'm going to take this lovely photo of our jaw. The best glue you can use for this is the tacky glue, okay? Should have had mine upside down, really. So, tacky glue, and look what I'm doing. I'm doing little circular motions all the way over the back. That's because I don't really like... You know when you were kids and you used to get them, like, spatula things to spread the glue out when you were at school? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't like them. Oh. So, I, instead, this is what I do instead, right? Because I don't like getting the glue all over my hands. I put that all over the back. Then you're going to pop it in place, right? And you're just going to manoeuvre it. So I'm just moving all over the back, Ben, so that we basically get all of that just smoothed out so that we've got glue all over everywhere. There we go. Plenty of glue all over. And I can feel it's getting a little bit pulley now. That's because it's tacky glue. It's going to tack straight away. Yep, that's not moving much more anymore. So that is stuck beautifully well into place, right? Yeah. Now... Don't stick it through straight away. Give it like 15 minutes. Ben, he's the one that I did in the last show of you and I. I thought, right, we're ready to make it into a jigsaw, right? So all you're going to do, this is 10 by 8, by the way. I've got another one I've done of me and my mum at the 5 by 7. So I thought we'll do both of them so you can see, right? So all you do is you take your 10 by 8, lie this over the top, and then if you get yourself out your tape, right, I like to hold them in place. 
just because I don't really want to run the risk of it moving yeah. while it goes through the machine. So I like to hold it in one corner then. And then in the next one, right, we were discussing on the last show how um, I said Ben can take these home for the kids. Mm -hmm. right? And then I was like, well, then, then I'll be their favourite. And Ben was like, are you really trying to claim that between you and their dad, you're going to be their favourite? I was like, have you seen these jigsaws and how they are, Ben? So, you know, hashtag, just saying there, Ben, right? Hashtag, I'll report back next week when, I, <laughs> as I say, I've probably been demoted to number three, third favourite because Craig's already given uh, Daisy a midi and then uh, Sarah's, you know, giving the kids jigsaws. So I'm probably below their mum as well, to be fair. So for our fourth in, fourth in line I'll be now. Haven't you got a dog as well? A dog? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, fifth. Yeah. <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's going. I'm going. I'm dropping out of the Premier League soon into the into the next <laughs> league down. <laughs> right, here we go. So I'm gonna take this straight off, right? There's my tip there. Oh Ben. We look so good as a jigsaw, yeah. Ben. <laughs> well, I mean, we look good in real life, but as a jigsaw, yes. and because this is look, because we use the metal shim. I mean, it cuts to absolute perfect. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen anything so awesome? It's going to cut absolutely perfectly like this. Totally love this. Yeah. Totally love this, Ben. And just to echo the, the fact that you, know, you get the mount board, and that does make it like an actual proper jigsaw. The jigsaw that Sarah made me in the last show, um, I had a little play with in between shows. Uh, you'll be able to see a little video of that very soon, actually, seeing how quickly I can pop my little jigsaws together. I was very fast. 48 piece jigsaw, oh, we're next to no time. Uh, but the whole point is the mount board d does just make it. Just like the jigsaws that you know and love, it's so super professional, and that's what I um, absolutely love about this. Pictures that you've taken, uh, you know, pictures that the kids have drawn. Uh, that's my favourite thought: is that letting the kids draw their own pictures and then being able to make them yes. into jigsaws. Brilliant. I've got one of those. I'm going to do later in the show for our Charlie Ben. Yes. You know what I thought we could do, Ben? Go on. This is a lovely jigsaw, me and you. Should we pick a winner, someone who comments in the show, and send them this exact jigsaw? The one Whoa. that you've just made. You can choose the winner before the end of the show. You can choose your favourite comment. It doesn't have to be someone at random. You can choose your favourite comment. All right, my favourite mm. comment. Favourite uh, you can comment. all tell me how much you love me and, you know, how I'm your favourite, that kind of thing. You know, I'll pick my... No, you don't have to do that. Okay, my favourite comment of the show. Uh, we will give that jigsaw away to... I didn't know that that was coming, so that's pretty oh. awesome, isn't it? Um, do you want me to do a... Do you want me to get ready and do a little one with the 5x7 as well, seeing as you haven't seen the 5x7 yet? Yes. Yeah? Please. Is that okay? Can I go straight into it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, come on. Right, so here's another nice little one. Now, this is great. Our Charlie, bless him, he's only four. Yeah. So this is quite good. He does manage the 48-piece jigsaws, but he needs a picture to copy off, right? Whereas I've been, because I've been making a lot of jigsaws at the moment, as you would imagine. So and I'd, all I do is I bring them all home for the kids to play with, right? So notice when I'm putting these on, Ben, instead of putting them straight like this, I'm always tilting them a little bit. Yep. And it's just so that you don't get that big clunk when they come out of the machine, okay? So, and these work, by the way, you don't have to have the Gemini Pro to make these work. They will work. The little one will fit in your Gemini Junior machine. They'll fit in all of your regular Geminis. All I would say is, right, if it's not a Gemini, you just need the immense amount of pressure that you get from a Gemini machine. Yeah. So it, a lot of people ask, you know, would they work in other machines or whatever? Yes, they absolutely fit in other machines. Can I guarantee that the other machines will be able to make them work? I wouldn't like to stake my career on it, let's just say. Right? I, I just, basically, I don't know because you, you need so much pressure. That's why the Gemini is so good. And it's such a big, thick die. And what I like is, Ben, yes, you make the investment today. So you're going to invest in that jigsaw die today. Yeah. However, by the time you get the jigsaw die, die with the kit right you're basically going to get enough to make 20 jigsaws in that set so spread the cost that you spend 29.99 or 39.99 in fact come on who's actually paying that because you're all in the club right so you're going to spend whatever that is less your club 24 yourself, quid if you're a platinum member for yeah across 24 jigsaw about across 20 jigsaws that's just over a pound a jigsaw yes to make a jigsaw like this now actually how much would you charge if you were selling these you would, I mean, I'm just going to tell you now, I paid for jigsaw, I sent away and paid £18 yeah. for one of the jigsaws that I had made. And I just think if you, do, what about people who are making and selling? You could be literally making and selling, I think this might be on the top, is that on the top? Oh, here we go. 
I didn't put and there was a question about making or selling earlier and of course you've got the absolute right to do that just as long as you own the rights to the photograph of yep. course you can make these yourself so it is a little side hustle isn't it it's a little a little business that hey, you could start it could up be more than a little side Whoa. hustle i have a lot of friends who've started crafty businesses yeah. during lockdown ben and just tell you now it costs nothing to set up a little facebook page selling your crafty wares yeah even if it just pays for the hobby Yep. You know, and these are the sort of, I mean, these are so professional. And then if you see that lovely little box that Ben's got, how you could be doing a gift, and I'll show you how to do those later in the show. You could be making a gift like this and then putting it in the fabulous little box and it becomes a really valuable, I mean, have you got that little box, the one I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, you, you, honestly, what would you charge for something like this? Because if I was at a craft fair or if I was on Facebook and saw somebody making these that Ben has now, and he'd, I would pay easy 15, 20 pounds for someone to make me something that special and precious with a 48 piece jigsaw inside. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's so many questions and comments coming in about the jigsaws. One of the main questions coming in is people are saying, uh, asking what uh, is the best paper to print the photo out onto? So what do you do when you print the photos? I mean, you can buy specialist like um, photo paper, can't you? Or, you well, or there are websites that you can just send your photos to. Well, let me show you honestly, right? So here's yeah. the one that I've got. And I've just printed this onto, it's not even onto special photo paper, it's just onto printer paper. Yeah. I still think it looks quite good. And if you wanted to spray it with a little bit of shine, you could give it that shine. The ones that I've done, Ben, for us, so he's the one with Joe, for example, I just sent them away. You know, you've got these websites where you can, you yeah. can send your photos straight from your phone. Some of them, you even get so many free prints a month. It's just one of those, and I sent away for the proper 10 by 8 full-size ones. You know, they weren't very expensive, if I'm being really honest, in the great scheme of how much the jigsaw's worth. Yeah. So, yeah, that's um, my suggestion. And um, I know you've already touched on this, but again, I know there's people um, sort of watching and joining all the time. Gilmore's asking, so um, once you suck it down, how long should you let the glue dry before you actually um, cut with the dye? Well, let's have a little look. I mean, we did one in the last show, Ben, where I couldn't be patient at all, and we did <laughs> it after about 15 seconds. Yeah, probably uh, less I than that. would recommend we'll come and do Joe, maybe it's in about 15, 20 minutes, and he should be lovely by then. All right, brilliant stuff. Um, and has all the questions covered? Uh, oh, Dee's asking, will the white mount board be something that's available all the time on the website? Well, all I'll say from my point of view, Dee, is that it's available right now, but it is limited stock. So I would say the don't wait. The mount board is already. Yeah. <gasps> That's going, that's, that's going to be people buying a lot of these things yeah. and stocking up. Uh, listen, any mount board's fine. You know, so even if it's not the white mount board we do, we, we always have the assorted A4 size mount board in. So you'll always be able to get mount board from us. But I would say that about tape pens as well. And then look at the great tape pen shortage of 2020 that we had. Um, but yes, but if you just stock up on them while we've got them. But yes, it is our intention to hold them as a core item, which means what we, we always reorder them. I just can't promise we'll always be in stock of them based on how fast you guys clean us out of stuff. I know, and stuff is flying today. Thank you for all these comments coming in. Don't forget, uh, my favourite comment... I get the power. Uh, we'll be receiving the uh, I'm jigsaw. Boxer, I'm getting it all ready. Okay, yeah, so there I'm it goes. I'm getting it all ready here, Ben, so we can send it out to someone. Someone will be winning that at the end of the show. Um, Gilmore saying, Ben, you are my number one presenter. Don't tell Joe. Well, Gilmore, congratulations. You won the dinner. <laughs> we'll, wait till, <laughs> we'll wait till the end of the show. Um, the um, big jigsaw die that you've got, the 10 by 8, 70% of the stock has gone. The 5 by 7, 60% of the stock has gone. Before we started the launch day show earlier on, people were um, jumping on the website and grabbing this. During the last show, we might have done during the last show you can tell I play cricket can't you hey, good throw Sarah um, yeah I did worry at one point that you weren't seeing me starting to love it <laughs> yeah. and it was just going to hit you on the head <laughs> it, it did cross my mind that that would be quite funny um what was I going to say I can't remember I've totally lost my train of thought here <laughs> yes uh, sorry 50% or was it 60 of this gone did you say 60% of the 5x7 one has gone, and you get mount board included with both of those, so 20 seats of mount board. But the, the tip here is, and again, for um, I think, who was it was asking? Dee was asking, get more mount board now whilst we've still got it in stock, um, because it is going to go, I think. It's limited uh, with the amount that we've got available. So yes, you're going to be able what. to make... Michelle Parsons has had a cracking idea here yeah. on YouTube. She says, another suggestion, use the cardboard from boxes you receive your crafters companion items in. Love it. For puzzle backing and also thin cardboard from shoe boxes. Brilliant. Love that idea. 
Keep the comments coming in. We love it. Um, June just saying, I've been having so much fun using the dies. Um, uh, BA on YouTube saying, yes, I would love Sarah and Ben on one of my shelves. Um, and Carol saying, my granddaughters are going to love these puzzles. I can't wait to send them one of themselves. Absolutely, they are going to be brilliant. Whoever you um, take photos of and make these for, they're going to absolutely love them. Right, it is a uh, launch party. And of course, we have got an out of this world... Deal. Deal. I thought you were waiting for me then. Well, I was, but you were a bit slow. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and out of this world. Deal. 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 That was all right. We'll work on it. It's good. I do still think, though, George and Erin um, in the gallery, if you can get this sorted for some point soon, we need some echo when we do that because the, the deal needs to be deal, deal, deal. We must be able to do that. Speak to um, speak to Adam, studio manager, Lord Adam. He'll sort it out. Just like he was going to sort out puppy cam, which he never, he never did. Banned us from doing that. Don't, Erin, don't. We wanted puppy cam in the studio, but he said no. Um, I know you've got, but he said no. Right. Uh, the Out of This World deal today, if it's storage you're after, this is what you need. The large die and stamp folder. Um, it is flying out of the doors. Not surprised to learn. Love these because obviously in crafters colours. Super sturdy as they will need to be because no doubt these will become packed full um, of all of your dies. Uh, super sturdy handle. You've even got a little tag on there as well. So if you've got like particular um, uh, dies in here that you want to label up, you can do. And then as we open up the zip compartment, you will see inside that you have loads and loads of room. Particularly like the little pocket there that you've got on the inside of your um, front cover. So you can pop in bits and pieces there. That's all elasticated. You've got your ring binder style folder. And then the great thing is you're going to get two packs of magnetic panels included too. So you have got plenty of space to pop in all of your dies. And notice you can pop your stamps on the back there as well, which is super handy. So if it is storage you're looking for, if it's, you know, if you've got dies all over the place and you're already, uh, you know, losing them and going misplaced, this is a great way to keep them nice and uh, secure. And of course, as the world begins to get back to normal and we're able to go out crafting with friends and going to crafty classes and things like that, this is where this would be absolutely perfect because you can pack all of that up in there and away you go. 26 98 or 34 94 is the deal on that one, uh, saving 20%, take off another 20%, of course, if you're a Platinum member, and that is today's Out of This World Deal, 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 deal. I'm sorry, but I'm really busy over here. I right? did it on purpose because no I saw you weren't looking. for all this messing about. Because somebody on Facebook's had this fantastic idea. Oh, yeah. Of how good would it be. So, Aileen Judish says, double-sided puzzle. Yes, so, I'm busy here finding, an I've got another picture of Joe. Just because then we can totally confuse you. We'll not tell him it's a double-sided puzzle. I'll stick another one on the back, and when we make <laughs> Joe's puzzle, we'll make it really tricky with a double-sided one. So I'm just going to be busy doing some serious work over here, Ben, while you're over there messing about and being silly. And Good. then um, and then you can come back to me for another demo in a bit. Those double-sided uh, jigsaws, that's a great idea. Have you ever seen the ones where they all do like, um, like double-sided jigsaws with beans on or something? You know, it's like a tin of beans, and it's absolutely impossible. Or something like, I don't know, like a picture of a lawn or something and it's double-sided impossible D whatever you do don't do that don't do that you know t print off some nice photos uh, but listen one thing that you do definitely need to do is get this deal the get it got it good deal <laughs> Now, the Get It Got It Good deal runs all the way through this week, and this works out brilliant, right? Because you're paying $35.99 or $39.95 for our brilliant Crafters Companion tote there. Super big, super sturdy, loads of pockets, loads of compartments, and guess what? You know those metallic pencils and that glue and that um, die brush there and the swivel blade craft knife? That is all free. You're not paying a penny, a cent, a dime for that. Uh, it comes within your tote for free. So if um, that tickles your fancy, make sure you get it, got it, Good. Um, right, the interchangeable sentiments. Just a couple of questions, actually, before um, yeah, we do carry Yeah, there's loads and loads of questions A, a lot of people comments. asking about the sandwich you need for the jigsaw. Come so on, I'll, I'll, on I'll whap another one through while yeah. we've got chance, right? So, let's have a little look. I have got, let's do another little five by seven, right? Oh, look, this is, so he's me and the lovely Leanne. And by the way, everybody, this is my Rachel who keeps my life running smoothly oh. and to time. She, look, I love her so much I have a mug with me and her on. It's actually her mug. I bought her it for Christmas one year because I told her she loved me that much, right? <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, right, here we go. So all I'm doing is I'm sticking that down 
over this picture of me, Leanne and our Rach, right? So the sandwich you're going to use, folks, is you've got your base cutting plate. I'm just going to make sure I've stuck these down. I'm going to give myself a little bit more give on the, uh, here we go, a little bit on that, right? So I'm going to go into the metal shim. So you've got your base plate, then I've got my metal shim on there, right? Yep. And I'm going into the metal shim. Then you put your clear plate on and then your top plate. So do not put in the magnetic. Right. Okay? So it's just exactly the same as one of our multimedia dies. And then it goes straight in. No matter, so no matter which Gemini you are using, that is the sandwich combination that is going through there, right? So you don't want any of the other plates in. So you've got your base, then you've got your metal plate, then we're cutting into the metal plate, then you've got your clear and the top plate, all right? So here we go. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to just lift it. Let's have a little look. I'm going to lift this die off here. All right, there we go. You lift the die off, take that off the top. There is our jigsaw, perfectly cut. And you see, there you go. And it, by adding that metal shim, it means that you get a really nice, clean, clean, crisp cut on the back. Does that make sense? That is the 5x7 one. Even if you have the Gemini Junior, that one is going to work perfectly in your Gemini Junior. Fantastic. Hopefully that makes sense for everybody who was asking um, about the sandwiches. So there you go. <laughs> Lots of love coming in for the uh, the jigsaw puzzle. Lots of people saying that they're ordering the extra mount board as well. And lots of pictures coming in as well. Let's Ooh. see the puzzles. Oh, come on. Puzzles oh, with puppies. Word. This one's too cute Look from at this Carol. One. Carol. Look at Carol's puppies. <laughs> Look. Oh, that is too cute. Oh, I love that so oh, much. And then look at Terry's as well. Terry's is gorgeous. Come here, so another one with the dog. What oh, a Christmassy. great idea of making Christmas. <gasps> you could send everybody your own personalised homemade Christmas puzzle. Right, there's gifts next year. Sorted from Christmas the puzzle done. Nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. Uh, hashtag if you love your cats. Look at this next one from Betty Gossel. Betty, what a cute cat. That is amazing. I l oh my goodness, I love these so much. Never mind about pictures of your friends and family, pictures of your pets as well. Absolutely brilliant. I love these. This is the kind of thing you can do and this is excitement that we're getting uh, for your jigsaw dies. Uh, details on the screen of your five by seven right now, but keep those comments coming in. Uh, love the look of the jigsaw, says Fram. Jigsaws are fantastic, says Melanie. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Keep the comments coming in because we're going to give away that jigsaw at the end of the show uh, to the best comments. Let's quickly show you um, your interchangeable. Um, I've, got, I've got some of the boards here, but not all of them. So I'll tell you well, what I'll do. How about we tag team? Uh? How about you show the board? Yeah. I'll show the samples. Uh, yeah. The board, tag it. I'll show the samples. All right. So the right, which board are you on first? Best. 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 I'm ready. Right, so this is the first uh, little mini collection that you've got within the main collection. So you've got your best wishes, best of luck, best friend. Uh, and as you can see there, you've got your uh, frame that you can interchange all of your bests in and out of. And I suppose the fact is you've got the ability to cut the frame or like we're seeing here, uh, make it as a little kind of uh, front for your card as well. Look at that. Look best. At that. Three luck. different looks. Best of luck. Best friend, best wishes, all in one. That is the best card I've seen today. I'm going to show you how to do that one. We're going to be doing best when we come back. What you got next, boss? Uh, sending wishes. 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 Wishes, wishes, wishes. So this one, again, is um, your beautiful frame here that you can then interchange. Sending wishes. Birthday, wishes. And also, get well, wishes. Oh, yeah. It's wishes, actually, that I'm going to do. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, the thing is, they're all such usable sentiments. So sending wishes, and the thing is, one die, but three totally different looks. There's your get well wishes. I think this one is totally uber, uber classy. And what about doing this as a shake? Oh, yes. Shake a card. How fabulous shake is it. that one? Love that one. Next up is the, well, this one is actually, yeah, this is you. This is actually called the, uh, the Regal Frame. So with this one, you've got just for you, miss you, aww, and... Thank you. Look at that super frame. And of course, all of your sentiments fit into it, as we can see with the cards that Sarah has got over there. Yes. 
three different looks all from one die and that's the difference and to be honest even just the frame on its own is fabulous so whether you use the frame on its own you 3d layer the frame up you flat layer the frame up they're going to look fabulous so there's the miss you thank you just for you next up is your interchangeable butterfly foliage which brings you happy birthday happy easter that's come at a brilliant time right not too long until easter will be on our uh, doorstep and then happy thoughts as well look at that gorgeous frame and then once again all of the interchangeable sentiments depending on whether it's birthday easter or just sending happy thoughts to somebody you can pop in and look at those cards yes again all five now what about and the thing is they're a good size ben so they're going to go onto a lot of base cards so if you notice all the cards that i'm showing you are actually relatively straightforward simple cards it's the actual top of die itself that looks so wonderful and the thing is that you can go for these on a multi-buy as well so if you go and have a look on craig show tomorrow he's got them as a multi-buy or as a big bundle all i would say is how do you choose they're the sort of sentiments that you just need to have to have all the time ben absolutely we've still got more to show you here two more to show you uh they're on a multi-buy as well two for 26 or two for 30. uh this next one is entitled your interchangeable pretty florals i mean this has got one on there which hopefully you won't need to use that often condolences but it also has some happier sentiments on there to celebrate and congratulations i think it's nice that we've included things like condolences because you know there will come times when you do need to make cards with that on but actually uh, the frame itself again is absolutely gorgeous look at the finished samples over there well, it's nice because it's the sort of thing where you're probably not going to ever choose to buy a condolence no. die, right? But you should have one in the collection to hope that you never need to use it, but when you do, you've got it there ready. Well, you don't mind buying a congratulations or a celebrate die, and then you've just got the condolences there ready for when you need it. And I'm going to do a demo for you in just a few minutes to show you exactly how these work. And your last collection is the interchangeable wildflowers. Um, and this one, again, look at that gorgeous frame itself. Uh, this is all about sending hugs to somebody, sending love, sending kisses this might be the one that you use um, straight away actually because we've been talking a lot about flooding the post with cards just because don't wait for a birthday don't wait for an anniversary don't wait for you know easter send love to somebody just because you want to cheer them up send somebody a hug just because you want to make them feel better and i think that's what this little collection is all about yeah i love it and, and this is the sort of card i'm going to teach you how to do by the way where you get the frame through into the inside of the card but i love this idea as well where you've got like a floating top and bottom and your sentiment floats in the middle. Brilliant. Or, I mean, what about this one? We've done loads of these styles of cards on Crafters TV. I think it looks brilliant having that right in the centre there. So there's your, I, I always call it sending, because you're sending something, sending love, sending hugs or sending kisses. Aren't they gorgeous? So literally pick whichever one works for you. Like I said, if you want to just go for the multi-buy, you can just choose any two of these on a multi-buy. Yep. Or what we're giving you there is the big collection. Craig is going to be so cross with us, Ben, when he finds out that we've sold this, many, this much of his stock for tomorrow yeah. before I've even started my demo. Yeah, and you won't have to deal with it either because I'm here. Nope. I'm, I'm here on a fourth day unheard of. I'm doing four in a row. My wife's going to be thinking I'm always working full time now all of a sudden. But yeah, I'm here with Craig, so I'll have to deal with the fallout of this. But don't you worry. I'll sort him out. Get it now whilst you can. And that's the other brilliant thing, isn't it? Ahead of um, the show tomorrow, you'll then know that you've got this on its way to you. And, um, you know, you can then just enjoy all of the demos which will be coming up with Craig uh, and that's the other brilliant thing is that, that I love we're doing a little bit of a sneaky peek on this so you'll see Sarah's take on it right so you'll get some ideas from Sarah but then tomorrow you'll get loads of different ideas from Craig as well so I think it is actually a good thing 74.95 or 84.75 and remember you've got that multi buy if you just want to pick and choose uh, the little collections um, for yourself you don't have to go for them all two for 26 or two for 30. Uh, Diasa just saying interchangeable sentiments die bundle really nice beautiful sentiments says Shirley uh, Nugent on Facebook uh, and great ideas for interchangeables says Fred 171 uh, gorgeous interchangeable sentiment dies says Gilmore how big are they how big are they yeah uh, 4.9 inches by 3.7 inches this one is yep. or if you want to actually know what just how is that meaningful in your life right I always do the hand test oh. they're about the size of your hand the, the biggest one so is 5.5 by 3.5 and that's the ornate swirls um, and the, the biggest one is uh, 5.5 by 3.5, I think. Yeah. And what word has on it swirls got on it? Because that's how I tell it. Birthday them. wishes, get well wishes, sending wishes. 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 The big wishes one. Yeah. I've got that over here if you want. Uh, wishes. Oh, I do like this. Do like this one. So here is. Oh, look, it's so big. They've had to stick it on the back of the packaging. Oh, yeah. Right. So you know it's a big one coming through, guys, right? So if I get this out, that is, again, it's a good size for your hand. 
Yeah. I love that you do the hand measurement. Hand measurement, yeah, but it's, it's more meaningful than telling somebody what the size is in like inches or something. Yeah. So I think so anyway. But I suppose right. it depends how big your hand is though. Yeah, true. I, I would say I have average size hands, if that helps, but <laughs> rel relatively average size hands. Okay. Right. Am I cracking on with me demo here? Yes, right, do it. Let me show you. Let's do the actual sentiment first. Please tell me I didn't... Oh, my. I'm just going to look for the dies. Here are the dies. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've got some... Let's have a look. I'm going to do some pink. So what should we do? Best what? Best um, wishes? Mmm... Yeah, the, yeah. Well, you're going to do that now, aren't you? You've already taken it off. Oh, yeah, so, I've got yeah. that off. Best wishes, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to go with the this one here, the middle one in that. And then I'm going to go with this one here on the white, right? So, and then you could either switch out best of luck or best friend if you want there, right? Whatever you want to do it. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my, I'm going to use the Pro just because I've got it out here ready, right? So these will stick on. There's the first one. Then we're going to stick this one on. This is what we mean about the whole card goes on one. It's so easy, Ben. So I'm just lying all these pieces on in one go. And I'm I've used the base plate, right? So the base one. Then I've got the clear. Then I've got the uh, magnetic so that I'm holding all of that in place. While they're there, I'm then just going to go on with the top plate. And then that is ready to go straight through the Gemini Pro. Now, I'm using the Pro and the large plates just because they're right here in front of me, folks, right? But if you have the regular size Gemini plates, you can send your regular size Gemini plates through your Pro here, right? Now, if we just layer up all of these, right? And I love it. What you'll do is you'll start using the Pro a lot more because you'll appreciate just how easy it is to cut everything out. Yeah. So let's have a look. That's going to go inside of there next, right? So that's looking pretty nice, right? And then I'm going to get my best wishes and I'm going to just pop that out as well. And my best wishes is going to layer up on top of there as well. Ooh, so yeah. that's how you put the whole sentiment together, right? So there's our sentiment. Now let's work on the rest of the card, okay? So if I pop that to one side, what is I've black done, and pink a thing at the moment? I see that a lot in crafting it's currently. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a grey shade, that one in the pink. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this on the inside, right? And then I've got some nice butterfly paper from the outside. And I'm gonna mat and layer this on a little bit of the grey. So watch what we're gonna do, Ben, right? I'm gonna start off, I want to do like a tunnel insert. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with this. Make sure I don't get this upside down, right? So I'll just double check this. Ah, no, right, it's got to go this way, right? So that one goes on there. I'm just going to check that's the right way and that's the right way. Yes, please make sure you don't get this upside down. Yes. So that's going to go on there, a little bit drop down from the top. And then what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to pop that on there. Yeah. And we'll send through just this, right? So I'm just going to cut this first piece here. So onto the base there, and I'm going to send these through and just cut that one first. Can I just say as well, just to display my great product knowledge, the papers, because I know you'll ask, the papers are from the Full Blooms and Quintessentially English uh, paper pad collections, which were available with Ooh. our uh, Stacked Easel collection. They, they, I think they were they were on the verge of selling out yesterday when we had them, but if you want to know those, uh, those papers, that's where they're from, Quintessentially English and Full Blooms. He's so good, Ben. Oh, he's so good. Such a pro. Such a pro. He's just such a pro. Right, let's have a little look. I'm going to be really careful in taking that off now because what I should have done is stuck the tape inside, right? Then I'm going to use my tape pen, Ben. Yeah. And just now mat and layer this onto the, out, the, the next one coming through here, all right? Okay. So plenty of kind of stick. And that's going to layer onto here. So I've got that absolutely perfect, right? Then I'm going to stick this onto the front of here. And because this is your, um, because we're doing this through the Gemini Pro, it's going to have the pressure to cut multiple layers at once, absolutely no problem. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go onto there like that, Ben, yep. right? And then what we're going to do is take this inner piece cutting here, right? And I'm going to line this up inside. Are you following? 
I'm with you all right. the way. He's with me all the I way. I am. I am listening. But I'm also just reading comments and. Will and, you read and, comments? Because as long as everybody can see what yeah. I'm cutting, we're all good to go. Um, I'm. I'm listening. Uh, <laughs> Kathy, see on YouTube's Ben. Ben knows his papers. Go you. Thank you, Kathy. I'm. I'm beginning to learn. Um, gorgeous sentiment says Dana. Loving this show says G Marie Penny on Facebook. So many lovely ideas. I can't wait for my goodies to arrive. Um, G, uh, G Marie Penny um, was earlier on the lady Erin, if you remember. We only oh, no, you weren't on. Um, were you with me on craft fight? I can't remember. No, I don't think you were. Um, she was saying I had a slip of the tongue and said something rude, but it actually turns out that I didn't, which is um, which is all good. She messaged me to say so. Um, and uh, Margie on Facebook just saying, Sarah, I just wanted to let you know that your energy, sweet personality, and creative ideas just make my day every day you are on. I look forward to any new items you come out with. God bless oh. you and your family. Oh, thank you, guys. That's super sweet. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm just going on with the metal shim, by the way, Ben. Okay. And then that through again, because it didn't quite cook, because I went through two layers of cardstock. Right? Um, lots of love still coming in for the jigsaw uh, dies as well, which we will come back oh, to. Oh, wait till you see. Sure. We've got a double-sided jigsaw yeah. to do. We've got a box for our jigsaw to do. I'm going to show you how to turn one of your jigsaws into a little heart-sized jigsaw. Uh, we're also going to do some jigsaws on some magnetics. What, I mean, uh, you what, thought in this, this show? show was good. It's the best is still to come. We've only got an hour left. Oh, the best is still... The thing is, Joe... I just called you Joe because we're making a Joe jigsaw. I'm not going to hear the end of this one, right? So the thing is, good friend Ben. Uh, yes, Debbie. Yes. Right. So the uh, so all I'm going to say is, <laughs> oh, this is going to get nasty. Let's just stop now. <laughs> this, could get, this could get really sticky, folks. Um, right. Oh, I don't even know what I was going to say now. Oh, I was going to say they're so quick to me. Yes. That it's all right, right? If, that we can get through all them demos. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I, I have all faith in you. I mean, I don't have to do the demos. I just have to stand here and sort of, you know, read the read the comments and sort of commentate on what you're doing. The pressure's on you. You've said what you've got to do it all, so it's up to you to finish it off. Fair enough. We'll go, I, I can go with that. Right. Can you see, I'm just getting these all lined up, Ben. Yep. What I should have done is I should have popped little bits of tape onto the back of all of these so the whole thing stuck down better. So I'm just perfecting that now because I want my card to be perfect because this might make the wall for Demo of the Show. Oh, thank you, you well. thank you for that as well. Thank you for that. I've forgotten. Do you know what? I've got so wrapped up in these shows with the pro, with the uh, the jigsaws, with the sentiments. Um, yes, you still need to vote for your uh, Demo of the Show um, earlier on. Oh, by the way, talking, the last Demo of the Show that Sarah made um, featured the heart jigsaw puzzle of um, Sarah and Simon. Um, and a few people have been asking, did you get chance to um, show Simon no, the jigsaw heart? I didn't. I had to make the decision between, uh, do I eat my lunch or do I go and see my husband? So, <laughs> I love him the bits. I love food more. Yeah. So, yes, I had my lunch instead. You'll all be pleased to hear, which is why you aren't listening to my um, stomach rumbling all the way through this show. That, well, that's, that is always good. Always good. Right. This card, it's coming together nicely. Uh, another sheet of paper from that lovely paper pad that you talked about, Ben. Watch what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this and I'm going to use, I'm sure our Craig will have left some big foam pads somewhere around here. Oh, he has. I'm, I've got some supersized ones on here. So a couple of supersized foam pads onto here. Oh, these, these are the jackpot, these ones, mine. If you're going supersize, you really want to be going supersize, OK? Now, the only thing is, Ben, I need to get this. Now, we're live on TV, and I'm trying to do this at pace. Oh, through the... get it all lined up. So I need to get it... So that needs to go in there. Is that... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, I tell you what, I'm going to take that. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to take that as a win, right? So we've got that little nicely lined up. Love it. And then all I've done is I've got a nice, simple... Um, just a little thing to go on the front. You don't, you don't need the rest of the card to be overly complex when you've got such an absolutely awesome looking card in the middle. And I just think that is so clever. Please, honestly, just keep the rest of your card super simple. Do you know what? How gorgeously clever is as that? As much as I love all the jigsaws, I think this might be my, uh, my, little, my little favourite. I love this demo. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, really so cute. It, so it's, it's once you know, I'm going to open this up so you can see, once you know how to get that. Yeah. That, uh, when I saw these cards, and I'd seen a few like this sort of style before, like on Pinterest and whatnot, and I didn't quite know how to do it. So I fiddled about and worked it out. Once you've worked it out, I think they 
are pretty awesome looking cards with the where you've got the peak through to the middle and the best wishes and that of course you could be doing that for your best friend best of luck but that card as well you can do with every one of the the different designs that we've got and bear in mind I'm only, only going to get to show you a couple today. Craig's got a whole two-hour show tomorrow. And then also, tomorrow, we'll give you the details of the craft-along. So now that we've got these amazing craft-along shows, you can literally get the products, have it delivered, and then a couple of weeks later, we can all craft along together in the craft-along. And this is when you can tell us what are your favourite card shapes to do. That's what we can all craft along together with. So it's even more learning, Ben. Absolutely. And that's what we love about being here at Crafters TV. Yes, we bring you amazing products, but then we follow up as well. We follow up with the tutorials. We follow up with the craft alongs, with the craft classes. You're never on your own. And, I, and I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I love the fact that, you know, you, you take these home today, you grab these deals today, but then you've got always, you know, more shows and tutorials to come. You've always got shows that you can then go back on on YouTube and Facebook uh, and on our website. You know, you're never left empty-handed and I absolutely love that about um, working here I truly do um, Mary just saying on Facebook love that card Sarah now I really need those dies lovely card Sarah there's lots of love coming in for that by the way uh, this has to be the winner it's magnificent says Heidi uh, Burke buttons on YouTube thank you for your comment I'm not going to read it out yet because it is it's a nice comment and um, yes you my favorite comment of the show will be winning uh, a jigsaw and Burke buttons there is a great I mean it's a great comment I mean flattery will get you everywhere today uh, but let's just recap on your uh, interchangeable sentiment die collection it is uber cool and we've got a full show on this tomorrow with um craig so this one here is your um let's call it sending sending hugs sending love and sending kisses so you've got that beautiful frame there and just interchange the sentiment depending on what you want to send this one here is brilliant for the fact that you've got your congratulations and celebrate which is yeah, two of the sentiments that you want to be using the whole time condolences is there for when you need it and like sarah was saying it, it's nice to have that there because you don't want to use it but when you do need to use it you've got it within your stash this one is best best wishes best of luck best friends and again take a look at the actual frame itself absolutely amazing Erin did you just say that I needed one which said best looking she did say that I, 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 she did. I, that is exactly I she what I heard I heard ben. that in Erin. my ear, yeah, that is exactly what I heard. That's what I heard. And Erin, yep. you can't win the jigsaw, unfortunately. You know, unfortunately. Uh, this one, I mean, you would have, yeah, with a comment like that. Seriously. Uh, this one is wishes. So you can send uh, sending wishes, birthday wishes, and your get well wishes. Look at that gorgeous frame. Uh, then you've got the just for, just for you, miss you, and thank you. Uh, and then, no, that is for you, isn't it? Yeah, not just for. That is for you. No, it's you. Just that is just you. <laughs> that is your just for. What am I on about? That is your you. Just for you. Miss you and thank you. It's definitely you. It's not called, it's not called you. It's, it's not called that at all. But anyway, this one is happy. Birthday Easter thoughts. Uh, it's gorgeous with the beautiful butterflies on. And I think we are back to where we started. Yes, we are. Thank goodness for that. Um, 30 elements in total launching officially tomorrow but tomorrow but grab it whilst you can let's have a look at some pictures of some goodies that we've um, also got for you uh, like the explorer kit the uh, spectrum noir metallic pencils uh, here we go details coming up on your screen here um, loads of goodies, as I say, on our website right now this is absolutely beautiful if you want to get your hands on this with those um, pencils uh, with the uh, the thanks die, the thanks stamp, I should say, included as well. Twenty eight seventy six or thirty eight sixty six is the deal on that one today, saving twenty percent. And then we've also got, because um, we've got loads of hunky dory goodies on the show for you too. If um, adorable, scorable is your thing, then um, there's a good chance to stock up. This is amazing. Bendable ink technology, as you will know, with adorable, scorable. Look at the color palette that you've got here. So those are all of the colors that you're going to get. You've got three of each within that collection. And it is, it's perfect cardstock. If you are someone who likes to do your construction, if you like, you know, cardstock, well, if you like, everybody loves cardstock that doesn't, you know, crack or feather or, you know, uh, sort of crease terribly. This is amazing because you get a perfect um, crease on this each and every time without the cracking. It is bendable ink technology uh, and that is 9 dollars or 14 dollars 
for that collection. 60% of the adorable scorable has sold through. Um, we've not actually opened up the, uh, the, the voting lines yet for the demo of the show, but lots of love coming in for that last demo. Um, Hannah Collins on YouTube just saying, feeling a bit low today. Well, sorry to hear that, Hannah, uh, but you and Sarah have brought a smile to my face. Uh, Cindy Colfer on Facebook, Hickory Dickory Dock, our Ben is on the clock. He tries to stay on trend, then Sarah launches something new again. I like that. I love these rhymes coming in. Uh, ben the Pro, says Josie Mitchell. Uh, great name for the pro, especially as he's just proved his knowledge of the papers. Yeah, I did say, if you're naming your pros, I did prove my knowledge of the papers. Full Bloom and Quintessentially English. The, the, you got Silver, Silver Falling was on the Full Bloom, I think. Mm. And the quintessentially English was the gold foiling. Mm. I think I've got that right. Anyway, details, me tales, Erin. I got the pads right, so shush. Can we, can we talk about the new short times again so I can do my thing again? By the and, way... Oh, the Craig and he's... Well, or, by the way, we need to do that because a lot of people have commented on how much they loved it. So, um, all right, so here we go. It is time to talk to you about our new spring schedule, uh, which is launching on Monday. All right. So basically what what we've done is we have. Um, <laughs> we've, I'm getting ready for when you say it. We, we've, we've, we've shuffled the schedule. Wait, 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 you've, got to say, wait, 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 wait. you've got to say that again. You've got to say it again. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What have we done, Ben? We've shuffled the schedule forward. Shuffled. <laughs> We've shuffled. So all those of you who are on Crafters TV time and get up in the middle of the night because we now have Craig's wake up call in the morning, you don't have to be in bed. You can be awake because we've shifted the schedule. Forward. No, you have to wait because I was going to do that when we said the wake up call thing. You've like jumped the gun a bit I there. I know, sorry. It's because, it's because you talked really fast and I couldn't do this at the same time fast enough. Right. Yeah. But anyway, wait, wait, I'm, well, look, so 12 to half one is the, is the, the new show time for Craig's wake up call. <laughs> so now Craig doesn't have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. He can have a lion. Hey, you can have a lion. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So after his head is sleeping, he'll be fresh as a daisy because we've shuffled his show forward a couple of hours, back a couple of hours even. Forward a couple of hours. Forward a couple of hours, it. definitely. Forward. So that is Monday to Friday, um, 12 till 1.30 UK time or 7 till 8.30 Eastern. And then, of course, we've got the second two shows. So 3 till 5 UK time and 7 till 9 UK time is where you will see all of your favourite shows like your Monday Makers, like your Colour Me Happies, like your Cartloads, like your launch parties and your launch days. So there you go. Details on your screen now. I did this so much better earlier on when Sarah wasn't dancing. Mm. <laughs> He's right. He's right. But, I mean, come on, how... <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Guys, we've had two cups of tea this show. Two cups of tea, I mean, two cups of tea, we're only an hour in. This is going to be unbelievable by the time we get to the end of the show. Right, so, so... Ben, I wish you'd be... Stop being so silly and just be sensible because we, I've got some really serious demos to do. So that time there, Monday to Friday, is Craig's wake-up call. That and that are where you're going to see your, the normal shows which you know and love, right? But that time there, on a Saturday, is not wake-up call with Craig. That is going to be play your crafts right there, which yeah, is... because Craig wants to lie in past lunchtime, basically. He doesn't even want to get up for wake-up call. So there's no wake-up call and Craig on a Saturday. We're just going to play silly games instead. Yeah. No, I'm not getting up at the weekend. I'm staying in bed. Aye. <laughs> That's what he's saying. So, so play your crafts right. It's Saturday, 12 to half one, 7 to 8.30 Eastern, which is all about fast-paced demos, lots of fun and entertainment and banter and your chance to win prizes. Woo! And then on Sunday at this time, we've listened to what you said and you've said to us, look, can you put soft aside on a Sunday? Because it's kind of nice to wake up on Sunday and, you know, have a bit of crafting, do your soft crafting, do your sewing and quilting. So we thought, you know what, we're going to do it. So 12 to half one UK time, 7 to 8.30 Eastern is the new time for softer side of life. If that didn't make any sense whatsoever because of Sarah's shuffling and sidestepping over there, I apologise. Um, but I don't. But I don't apologise at all. I, I quite like me shuffling. And me dancing, so 
Oh, it's just nice. I thought, is it every, we listen to you guys. We moved all of our shows backwards so that wherever you are across Europe and America, you can watch them. I'm just really sorry for the few people who watch us in Australia who now... Good after uh, record the shows and watch them early the next morning. Yeah. Hey, but that is the brilliant thing, of course, about it is you can you can obviously rewatch the shows back. You know, you can set your own little um, you know uh, playlist on YouTube if you're subscribing to us on YouTube, Facebook. You can rewatch. That's the great thing. The shows will always be there for you. Um, so yes, that is our new schedule, which is starting on Monday here on Crafters TV. Right. Um, let, yes, uh, yes, let's talk about the jigsaws. Let's, let's get back to, I can't believe that I'm the one saying, let's get back to being sensible. This never happens. Seriously, well, more sensible. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite know what's happened over that side I love of the how I've got today. the annoying look over there as if to say, is that all right? Yeah. I'm just wondering what's going on. Uh, so, the jigsaw dies, which have launched officially as of four o'clock, but we might have sort of launched a little bit earlier on. The 10 by eight um, jigsaw dies, 70% uh, of the stock has gone. 75% uh, of the stock has now gone. And you're gonna get, of course, with that, your 20 sheets of mount board included. Do you know what I love about these as well? And obviously you're gonna be you know, making these to make actual jigsaws with that you're gonna give to people for them to build too. But I particularly like um, this as well, which I haven't shown just yet, um, which allows you, of course, to you know, do things for like your scrapbooking projects as well. That is super, super cute. And lots of people, uh, I, I would imagine, will be buying it for that purpose as well so wouldn't they look at that that's my mum and my sister by the way guys mum you are the piece that holds us all together Aww. super super Love cute it. um so yeah this is the kind of thing you know home decor pieces as well absolutely um so if you want to go for the 10 by 8 uh jigsaw die amount board 49.99 or 59.95 is the deal on that one we've then also got the smaller size for you too so if you want to go for the five by seven again you've got the ability to do that 60 percent of the stock has gone here as well and let me just show you this because this again Again, is another this is one of my I think this is one of my favorite finish samples that I've seen for a long while because of course you know if you're making your little jigsaws you know you want them to pop them into a, a beautiful little box and this is great because you've got the little jigsaw itself there the picture of the jigsaw inside this box and look the little drawer comes out that's phenomenal do people want me to plan a tutorial on that yeah I do right here's the I, thing, do. Right? I will absolutely plan a show where we do a tutorial on exactly that project I would just guarantee now that we will be sold out of the jigsaws by the time I get around to doing that. So just get the jigsaw now, knowing that I'm going to be doing that in the next few weeks. Uh, well, there you go. And, and just to say as well, um, the fact that you get the mount board with this is amazing. And I, and I can only say to you, if you've you know put a jigsaw together before, this is just like the actual business. This is, this is the issue. You've got you know your mount board here, which makes it like an actual jigsaw. You can obviously use you know other mediums should you want to, but get more of the mount board is what I'm saying. You get 20 sheets with the collection. Uh, but get more of the mount board whilst we've got it on our website because honestly once you get these back home you are going to be printing off photos off your phone like nobody's business you know you're going to be getting the kids and the grandkids involved as well uh, and you are just going to be making jigsaws out of everything and and like sarah said do you know what as a little bit of a, a business as well as long as you own the rights to the photos then of course you can you know print out photos make jigsaws with them as i said earlier on with schools going back soon things like summer fairs for example how amazing to have your own little stand there and you know uh, making jigsaws uh, for all the kids at the school you know if you support a particular charity as well this is absolutely perfect for that and the whole point again is 29.99 or 39.95 for your five by seven uh, take off your 20 percent that comes down to what about 24 pounds uh, you can make 20 jigsaws out of this i mean like we said just over what a pound a jigsaw think about how much you could be selling these for i know sarah's um paid sent off and paid for these before in the past i have as well i think it might have been a hundred piece jigsaw but no word of a lie sent it off to this company about three years ago and with all of the postage and packaging and everything for a hundred piece jigsaw a picture of my daughter and her pony 40 quid 40 yeah, quid yeah i can believe it i can totally really expensive. believe it yeah so um take advantage of this and make yourself a bit of money if you want to as well right let us have a look at some pictures we've got pictures of doggies oh sandra your puppy sitting <gasps> what kind oh she's 
puppy sitting. Oh, Sandra, that's lovely. What sort of dog is that? I really love that. Uh, Sandra's just um, sent that in because she's, uh, we were talking about the puppy cam earlier on. Were you here the other day when we I were talking about no. puppy cam? Oh, we said we wanted a puppy cam um, in the studio, uh, but um, Adam's studio manager said that that was not a possibility and to stop talking about it, so he will. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, he's a cat man, apparently. He's a cat man. Um, Anna. Again, look at this awesome. Oh, she's been on the jigsaw puzzles. She sent three pictures, Ben. There's this one here, which I absolutely love. Yeah. And then how cute is this next one? This Lucas. This is her grandson, Lucas. <gasps> how good. So that was his first Christmas. Love and then the also costume. this next one was his baptism. And I think how wonderful for the family yeah, and then his first day at school as well how amazing to make some big milestones <gasps> honestly the, the it blows my mind with the gifts you could be making for people and i don't know about you ben but we are huge puzzle people in our family absolutely we all love doing puzzles and i think this is a brilliant way to, for you all to get into it i think you should absolutely jump in and grab this i know loads of you have already but don't miss out on this deal whether you go for the five by seven or the ten by eight it's something which you will come back to time and time again i just truly believe that you'll you'll never get bored of using these dies um, because you always want to be making you know these amazing puzzles for friends family members uh, whoever it might be right let's have a look at the uh, demo are we coming back to the double-sided photograph over there uh, i'm coming back to tons of demos right okay this is a, right just got it we got you got to save this if any of you have ordered the jigsaw puzzle dies save this into your favorites on youtube or if you're watching on facebook click share and it'll put it on your wall come back to an hour and 10 minutes in and i'm going to do like a proper loads of ideas here with your jigsaw puzzles okay so first one is the boys were watching me launch this last night on creating craft and they sat and colored in pictures and said would i bring them in so what i've done is i've stuck this onto some mount board so i'm going to turn our charlie's image into a jigsaw puzzle and this is the great thing oh hang on we need i think i think i need to move over because we need to catch on the end where it says by charlie age four god love him which our oliver added on right so by charlie age four so that goes on the bottom there i'm going to stick a little bit on here if you're working on like a4 paper which is what they did yeah. simon just when they said they wanted to do a jigsaw puzzle for, well they wanted to do a picture for mommy to make into a jigsaw puzzle simon just went and printed them out and um, an image on the printer for them to color in and be, you know and anything like this and the thing is i'll be really honest we do loads of these at home i don't usually stick them on mount board i just put them into a little bit of them um, onto a little bit of cardstock or the back of an old cereal box or yeah. something a little bit thicker because then all i'm doing is you know they're going to play with it a couple of days and then we're going to lose a couple of pieces and that goes in the bin and we'll do the next one so it's honestly it's really you know it's really inexpensive so if i just lift this off here uh, I'm going to just pull this bit off here and then the same with this little bit off here and then I like to try and lift this up just so that it's great for the camera here guys I always like to try and lift this up all in one go are you going to lift up all in one go come Ooh. on yes you yes. are yeah oh, oh almost oh nearly in two goes oh man my life and then i'm gonna have to put this back together for our charlie look this is his sonic the hedgehog jigsaw that he's just absolutely thrilled to bits with himself about there it is that's brilliant so even if i sit and put that back together and I, do you know he'll have loads of fun sitting playing with that today and i remember the first time it was for simon's 40th we had like a, a jigsaw made yeah and i mean i spent a fortune on getting it done but i was so thrilled when it arrived and uh, as a family we played with that over and over and over again and i think how thrilled i was that's how thrilled our charlie is going to be with his jigsaw i mean look when you, you take it home it, it cost pennies and it took seconds and in fact, the way I would see it is, yeah, it's, even the sheets of um, mount board, it's working at like just over a pound a sheet if you're going for the small ones. But then actually that's not taking into account the cost of the jigsaw puzzle. Now, that is, so that's our Charlie's jigsaw. I'm just going to put that to one side. Then we're going to go and get on, right, I've got Joe's jigsaw now. Double-sided this one, is it? So this we stuck on double-sided. Brilliant. Right, so all I'm going to do is lie this over the top and again, I'm using the 10 by 8 one again. Now, I loved Ben's idea of um, like getting some like 
big a picture of some big things. <laughs> you should definitely or do it. I saw a friend of mine um, on, uh, I think it was Instagram a couple of days ago, done a puzzle, a thousand piece yeah. puzzle she'd done. And it was like all out of space. It looks so complicated. Yeah. But do something like that, but do it double sided, you know, and it becomes a real like brain teaser one. So we're going to do this as a brain teaser for Joe. And then what day is Joe back in? Friday. Uh, Thursday. Thursday afternoon he's in. I suggest we get him on, on Thursday or Friday, on the wake up call and see how long it takes him to put together. It's yeah. only an hour long. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll still be a wake up call the following day, piecing it together. <laughs> could be a bit of a hoot, couldn't it? It could be an absolute hoot, that. So if I lift this one out here, all right, and then the same off here. Right, here we go. So we know what it looks like. Is right? this your first double-sided jigsaw you've done? First double-sided oh, jigsaw. Well, I only go. saw the idea on Facebook just now. There's that. And there's the other side. Amazing. Ah. And then again, all I'm going to do is take it apart. Oh, yes, now the glue, I can feel the glue was still a little bit wet. Okay. So how long ago was this that we did it? I would say probably about, mm, maybe about half an hour or so. About half an hour? Right, yeah. I'm going to give it a tiny little bit longer. So I'm going to give it maybe... Maybe it's another half an hour or something, and then I can start. I mean, they're coming apart, but what I don't want to do no. is I don't want to pull any of the bits up, right? So we will we will give that another half an hour, take that apart, and then we'll give that double-sided one to Joe. So there's the next idea. Yeah. Double-sided jigsaws don't fall apart. You can go over there, right? Now, the next one I wanted to do, ready for this, right? So I've got that jigsaw that I did with Leanne and Rachel in, all right? So if I move this over to here, and can you see I've kind of got it all together, right? What I thought we'd do is, I will, I've got some of our multimedia dies. So I'm going to take the butterfly, right? And I've worked out we're going to have to cut me off, but I can cut me off and I can get Leanne and Rachel. So oh, but all I need to do is I'm learning, right? This You need this piece to be significant enough that it doesn't... You oh, see, you need to be yeah, yeah. left with enough of each piece. So these bits down here are probably going to cut off. So I'll pull these up there. Well, you just need bit. to make sure that you've got the join, don't you? Uh, uh, yeah, there each of go. the I'm corners. quite happy with how yeah, all of that is sitting there, right? Yep. So I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to tape that into place on the outer pieces. And we'll send that one through and we will make a butterfly shaped jigsaw. It's a nice present for Leanne. Is this again something, so you did the heart jigsaw earlier on of you and Simon, now you're doing the butterfly jigsaw. Is this something that literally, off thought the back of, of what you did earlier, you've yeah. now thought of doing? Just started up this morning. Uh, yeah. What was it this morning? Not, wasn't, what, what time was it? One o'clock. Yeah, in our one o'clock show. And, and do you know what? It's the same with the double-sided one that you just said about. These ideas, folks, we don't just sit and dream them all up in the night. Most of them come from you guys. So keep your ideas coming, keep your suggestions, and we'll try and do stuff live in the shows. Right, here we go. So, as I take all of this off now, right, I'm going to take away all the... So let's get rid of me there. We don't need me anymore. Uh, I'm not in the jigsaw, right? So there's that. Leanne looks so pleased with herself, doesn't she? She's only made a cup of tea round. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then there we go. There is the butterfly-shaped jigsaw. With all the individual pieces for Leanne. That's How phenomenal. That? Do you know what? I've got another one as well. I'm still going on this. I'm yep. trying to put my butterfly to one side. Um, and these are just our multimedia dies, folks, right? So there's that one. And then I've got the one of me and my mum. And I thought, oh, let's do me and my mum and let's try and get us into a heart, right? Oh, oh, man alive. I did have it all made up ready, right? So you do need to have it all made up ready. Do, 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 do. So, right, you, you just talk will, yeah. amongst yourselves well, then, while no, I do whatever I have to do now. Just to let you know, um, when you mentioned earlier on about the tutorial for the uh, the box that we've got, that yeah. is a definite big yes from everybody. So I that's, got a lot of love for that, did I? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you've got to do that. Um, BA on YouTube says, you two are just so much fun being shut in for so long, so you are my entertainment for the day. Well, that's great, BA. I'm loving the we fact that we are. We are happy to be the hired help entertainment we for are. the day. Uh, puzzle Box is awesome, says Karen. Uh, Sarah and Ben says, Shirley, you cheer us all up on a dark and windy day. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Emma saying, yes, please, the tutorial will be great for the Puzzle Box card. Uh, and Karen Morgenstein on Facebook saying, I work with adults going through rehab, and these puzzles are perfect size for them. 
Not too big to accomplish while standing or trying to concentrate. Yeah, absolutely. You know, enough of a size to be, I suppose, challenging, but not too challenging, which is great. Uh, so excited to get these puzzle dice to play, says uh, Dana. And uh, Marley on Facebook says, Aloha and good morning from Maui. I'm super excited because I finally got this jigsaw dice with the mount board plus extra mount board. Chee-ho, it says here. I don't know what that means, but I like the sounds of it. Yeah. C H E E E E E E E E E H O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O I've made so many presents live in the show. I've got one for Leanne. I've got one for my mum here. I've made the one for old Charlie. I did a one for our Oliver earlier today. Made one for me. Made one for made Joe. Made one for you. Made one for Joe. Good thinking. I mean, brilliant. Passes it off as work, but she's just here actually busy making presents for people, you know. Yeah. Look at this. The heart again. Oh, Smashed how it. Cute's that? And you see, I just positioned it so that all these the little pieces in the corners weren't too small. I just think that's absolutely fabulous, isn't it? Look at that! There, nice heart jigsaw for my mum. I love it. And do you oh, know what I, I love more love than anything it. is the fact that you know, as of what about four hours ago, we, like Sarah hadn't even thought about doing this, and just the fact of kind of you know trying something out worked brilliantly. So now we've got your standard jigsaws, we've got heart jigsaws, uh, we've had the butterfly jigsaws as well. I mean, seriously, this is just opening up a can of no, not only one of those cans, opening <laughs> up a can of uh, crafty worms Endless. for you. But, uh, can of awesomeness. A can of awesomeness. That is what it is. It, in the words of Vadasa, one of our viewers, this is awesome sauce because the possibilities are endless. This is just the starting point for you. Think of all of the things that you can create. What I would say is though, whether it's the 10 by 8 or the 5 by 7, you need to get cracking uh, because these are flying out of the door. If you want more mount board as well, that is still available for you as an individual item, um, but it's going, it's flying. Um, Linda on Facebook is saying, I'm already thinking the jigsaws will be great for my grandchildren's advent calendar. Oh, as they don't eat new jigsaw many every day. sweets. I love that idea. New jigsaw every day. This is brilliant. What child says Anne on Facebook would not be delighted to have that artwork as a jigsaw puzzle. I know, seriously cool, right? Um, Christine says the double-sided puzzle. That is so cool. Tracy Deckman on Facebook. These jigsaw dies are incredible. My mum loves puzzles and making puzzles of her grandchildren would be great for every occasion. Yeah, I remember like my nan used to absolutely love puzzles, particularly jigsaws. And I know how delighted she would have been to have had like a jigsaw puzzle of, you know, um, us, the grandchildren to do. Absolutely phenomenal. Think about how great these are going to be as gifts. How great it's going to be, you know, for the kids to kind of get crafting with you and for you to be able to, like we just saw there with Sarah, you know, how great that um, little Charlie's drawn a picture. It's now a jigsaw puzzle. But yeah, how great for you to be able to make these and send these to your relatives as well. You know, particularly during these times too, if you're sending pictures of um, your kids to your mum and dad, you know, who haven't seen the grandchildren for ages, how nice to be able to get a little card through the post with a jigsaw puzzle of the grandkids on I mean I just couldn't think of anything better I think that is absolutely phenomenal um, Josie Mitchell on Facebook just saying just want to uh, want to know what you're both on so much energy can't wait for mine to come love the nesting um, jigsaw dies uh, just can't wait to get going we're just Hi, high ben. on life I've high on life Sarah and Ben yeah Powered by jigsaw fuel. <laughs> That's what it is. Seriously. <laughs> I honestly, uh, today has been absolutely brilliant with the Gemini Pro and these jigsaw dies. And you guys, some of you guys uh, have already got, so the jigsaw dies, right? So they were on the HSM preview show at the back end of January and they were so popular that they didn't even make it on to HSN. So um, loads of you have already got this in the US and that's why we're seeing pictures like this already coming through. Like Karen Morgenstein uh, made this, and this, this again is another great idea. So her friend has had an operation um, oh, and come out of hospital. So post-surgery, she's made her this gorgeous puzzle. How lovely is that? Karen, that is fabulous. I think that's great. And look at that, get well soon, feel better. I mean, that is just gonna put a smile on anyone's face. And this is what I'm talking about as well. Puzzles of your kids, of your grandkids on. Sam, that is just gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, they are amazing. Uh, oh, the little, little baby's amazing. waving. That's so cute. And uh, Carol, uh, of her uh, granddaughter's graduation. 
I mean, again, being able to take all of these special moments in time and, and you know, and pop them into a little puzzle, I just think it's incredible. I love the idea, by the way, of the advent calendar, you know, having a different puzzle um, for a different day. And like, you know, seriously inexpensive to be able to do. Loads of people, obviously, you know, making uh, puzzles of uh, family members and pets. Always uh, members of the family. Terry, uh, with your beautiful doggo there. Do we know the name of the doggy? Oh, Terry, you need to let me know the name of your doggo. I love, love, love that so much. That's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and also from Terry, uh, look at this, another family picture uh, made into a puzzle. Absolutely um, stunning. Um, I just think this is brilliant. Uh, do you know what? I, this is why I love coming into work here because like, every day there's something new. And as much as you kind of think, you know, we launch something, you see something, you go, ah, oh, we'll never top that. That's the best thing I've seen. Then you see something, you think, oh, we just topped it. These jigsaw dies, I just think, are phenomenal. Off the chart. Off the chart, to quote Sarah. Uh, and by the way, talking of off the chart, launching on Thursday, on launch day, uh, Crafters Companion, Country Village Templates and Stamps. I just want to show you the kind of things that you, look at this little village I'm going to build up for you here, will be able to create. How stunning are these? You can create your own little model village. I mean, <laughs> so, you know what I was saying a few moments ago when I was saying, you know, you think you've seen the best thing and then all of a sudden something else comes out. Are you kidding me? How cute is that? How cute is that? The Crafters Companion Country Village templates and stamps allowing you to create what you can see here is launching this coming Thursday uh, here on Crafters TV. And actually, oh, now I like, I like my little village that I've got here. We'll call it um, Benville, but just over Benville. the other side, uh, the other side of the studio, we've got Sarah Town. Sarah Town, he's Sarah Town. Now I've seen beautiful designs where these have been put together to make an actual whole church. We've got the most gorgeous, I don't know where it is. Oh, I saw that one the other day. Oh, I think it's gone to Fiona. Oh, but what? It's, uh, well, actually, no, I didn't, because it's being kept for Leanne, because Leanne is doing the launch show on Thursday. So make sure you tune on Thursday, where Leanne's going to teach you how all of these work. Basically, they are templates, but then all of the dies to cut in the windows and to do, like, the church spire, for example, on here. All of these are, like, individual little bits that Leanne is going to teach you to do on Thursday. I tell you what. You had the launch of the Pro yep. today, then we had the launch of the Jigsaws, yep. then we've got Craig's launch tomorrow with all of the um, interchangeable sentiments. Interchangeable sentiments. Yep. Then you've got Leanne with a launch day on Thursday with the Village, yep. then I'm coming up on Friday with the launch of our, can I show you them as well? Oh, I'm going to get them, I'm just going to go for it then, right? I'm going to, I'm going to be coming up and doing, just move aside. What's that? Bill, right? These What's are the that? super size albums. <gasps> Have you not seen these, Ben? So, if you want to do your albums in extra large size, so this, for example, is a 10 by 10 album. Amazing. Right? And you've got all like, he's a little Charlie, bless him, and I'm all about all the nice edges, all the corner pieces. So, this is if you want to do, oh, there's my mum again. But she keeps cropping up, doesn't she, my mum? Starring role today. She'll be, she'll be good when she does. I've got all these pictures of her because she hates having a picture taken. Right? <laughs> so, this is if you want to do the large album spine for the 10 by 10. And then this one here, oh, this is an absolutely gorgeous sample. This is one of Karen's. <gasps> oh, wow. Talented. She is so talented, is Karen. So she's done that with the beautiful flowers on the front as well. She's done this whole 8x8 eight eight one as well. So whether you're wanting to do the 8x8 eight eight or whether you're wanting to do the 10x10, ten ten, these are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going, to be I'm going to be doing my very own family memory album on the, uh, Friday. Friday, I'm going to be coming up and doing all of this, teaching you all of these, putting my own family photos in. We can, uh, you can enjoy this show. So it's this, it's one o'clock 
on Friday afternoon UK time. So I will see you on Friday for this one here. What a big week it is! I mean, seriously, this is amazing. All these launches. And by the way, uh, Will Jewett, aka the Crafty Crafter, I was thinking this and you said it. Uh, Will saying, read those village dies. I love those village dies. They would be perfect for a modern <laughs> railway. I thought that, you know, perfect for people who, you know, who are into their little, um, you know, uh, My dad trains and. Uh, loves these yeah. modern railways. I think. Absolutely right, Will. I mean, just brilliant. Uh, Eleanor saying, love the puzzles. They're the best. Thank you so much, Sarah, for bringing these puzzle dies to us. Uh, Michelle on YouTube saying, my middle daughter is a huge puzzle fan like me, so I'm planning to make puzzles of her animals. She'll love them. Uh, and loads of people now are getting very excited about the village dies. Can't wait for the Country Village collection to launch. They are fabulous, says Shirley. And oh my, says Brenda, the Crafters Village is so beautiful. Something else which is beautiful is... The Gemini Pro. Ah, yes. The big beast uh, arrived here on Crafters TV at one o'clock this afternoon. Loads of you um, bought this. It was the first time that you saw it here in the UK and loads of our UK viewers jumped in and grabbed it because A, it is just a fantastic bit of technology, but B, the deal today is phenomenal. So 449 is the price in this, or 499.95. As platinum members, you're getting your 20% off that. So in the UK, it's 359.20 or 399.96. Um, but the, the brilliant, brilliant thing about this, so many brilliant things about it, 500 bonus points if you take this home today. 500 bonus points. That is getting you up two levels just for the points alone. So 949 points if you're shopping with us here in the UK. Just unbelievable. And I think it is worthwhile if you missed... First thing, if you missed the show earlier on, make sure you watch it back because we showed you so much with the Gemini Pro and put it through its paces. But um, if you didn't see that show, here is a little video which will explain more about this amazing machine. Have a listen. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. There we go. Loads of details for you there on the Gemini Pro. Um, the large spine, says Michelle Parsons, would be great for making calendars or children's books, colouring or other types. <gasps> children's books! All oh, my life, I totally want to make a children's book. I was going to show you this one here. This is one of Bianca's. I think how awesome, those of you like me on a bit of a diet and planning the week, uh, make, look, you just wipe it clean. Can you oh, see yeah. just a bit of acetate on the front? You can do all your meal planning on here. I thought this was super cute. Brilliant idea. But I love the idea of a children's book even more. So much so, I think I'm going to see if my kids will write a book and I'll make it into a book. <gasps> yes, uh, we're totally doing that. That's a great idea. Yep. I love all these ideas coming in. Um, I've been waiting for the album die sale, says Gail. Uh, I absolutely love those. Something else which you are loving as well are these uh, interchangeable sentiment dies. So these again officially launch tomorrow with uh, me and Craig, but we thought we'd give you a bit of a sneaky peek of these um, just to give you the opportunity to grab them now. 
um, so that then tomorrow on the show you can kind of sit back and relax and enjoy all of Craig's demos without worrying about uh, you know whether you'll be able to get these or not. So I'm going to give these their actual names this time because we're just calling this one Sending, but it's not called that at all. It's called Interchangeable Wildflowers because we're focusing what, on what the actual frame looks like, you see. That's what it's all about. So you get the gorgeous frame here with the interchangeable sentiments, which in this one is sending hugs, sending love and sending kisses. And as I said, I think this one might be the first one that you use within the collection because if you do just want to send love, hugs and kisses um, you know, to someone who's maybe a little bit down during these lockdown times, then this is absolutely perfect. And there you go, some of, uh, some of the makes over the other side of the studio there. Gorgeous. Then you have got this one here, which is called Interchangeable Pretty Florals. So again, looking at the actual frame itself, very pretty. Uh, you've got congratulations, you've got celebrate. And as we said, the one that you don't want to use, but you know, it's useful to have it there in your crafty stash. Uh, and there we can see um, all three of those in action. Look at this, we're like a well-oiled machine. Uh, next up is this one here, which is entitled Interchangeable Best. No, it's not. <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely vines. Lovely vines, lovely vines. Uh, so there is best wishes, best of luck, and best friend. And there are your lovely vines. I love the cards over there as well. Look, I love the colours of those, particularly the best of luck, kind of going with the sort of luck of the Irish, isn't it, with the green there. Uh, next up is this one here, which is entitled Ornate Swells. Ah, yes, there you go because it's ornate swells on the frame. See what we're doing here? This is all working very well, isn't it? Sending wishes, birthday wishes, and get well wishes are the interchangeable sentiments that you've got here, beautifully modelled over the other side of the studio. This one, by the way, is absolutely brilliant. I don't know if you can get in close on this, but it's absolutely brilliant if you're wanting to do shaker cards. So I would just say, if you're picking a couple of them, this one here is absolutely perfect for shaker cards. Look at that with the acetate on the front. Yeah. And then actually cut out the wishes into the front so you can see right through it. The sw and the swirls are fabulous. And that is the same technique that I taught you in the first card with the outer cut piece as well, Ben. Um, by the way, Sarah mentioned if you were just picking, these are available on a multi-buy for you as well. If you just want to pick and choose rather than going for the full collection. Two for £26 or $30. Um, we've then also got in this collection the interchangeable regal frame. Um, so there is your regal frame. Here are your three interchangeable sentiments just for you. Missed you and thank you. I think this one's really classy. This is the one I'm going to do my demo on, by the way. Okay. And then I think we've got one more to show you. Yes, we have. And this one is entitled Interchangeable Papillon. No, Interchangeable Butterfly. Interchangeable Butterfly <laughs> Foliage. Yeah, it's Fiage Papillon. That's the French. I was reading both. Do you know what I only found out as well? What, what language? Like, so uh, Mariposa. Mariposa. Yeah, yeah. it's also a butter... Is the, well, I don't know what language that is. Is the, is the word for butterfly in another language. Is that Cause, right? Because you know you've got Mariposa in Sharon Callis' butterfly collection. I always wondered why it was called Mariposa, and it's because Mariposa is, is, is butterfly in... I don't know what language that is. I'd say that's Spanish, maybe. Oh, nice. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> this is interchangeable butterfly foliage. Happy birthday, happy Easter, and happy thoughts. Isn't that lovely? And that's just on a lovely Z Fold card. They're a really good size, these sentiments. Honestly, I cannot wait for Craig's launch day tomorrow. I've seen what he's got planned. It is going to be a colossal, colossal show. You, it, you just don't want to miss that one. And then also bear in mind, because everything now, we then plan a craft along. So get these today or tomorrow, and then the, Craig will give you the details tomorrow of when the craft along is, so that you can all tune in with your dies, learn the techniques, make at least one card together. Absolutely brilliant. And I tell you what, Craig is in for Craft Bolt this evening. So if we can get any kind of, you know, oh, yes, heads he up. Oh, yes, bring them. <gasps> what? <coughs> I've, just, I've just drank my tea a bit fast there. <laughs> I clearly had some tea still in <laughs> Still going on with a cup of tea. Uh, I was getting a bit excited because I was going to say, maybe he'll bring them with him and show you what he's going to do. Maybe. Yeah. <coughs> I'll maybe. go back to Chogan. <coughs> <sighs> Maybe he will. Uh, seven o'clock UK time this evening, about an hour and 20 minutes he'll be here. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll ask him what's going on. Um, right, last chance to get your comments in. In case you didn't know, by the way, um, in a roundabout, oh, we've got loads of things to take care of here. You need to get in touch because we need to pick the demo of the show. 
Yes. So you need to get voting on that. Maybe we'll do a recap on what Sarah has made in just a few moments. But also, you need to get your comments coming in because I've got to pick one of my favourite comments to give away um, this little jigsaw era, which is um, me and Sarah, uh, well, in jigsaw form. You'll find out when you get home. Yeah, you, you will. Together. You'll find out when you put it together. So send your comments in and um, I'll pick my favourite one before the end of the show. Uh, yeah, Facebook and YouTube is where you need to be commenting. Are you going to be doing a demo right now on the interchangeable sentiments? I think you are. I am indeed, Ben. Well remembered. Thank yes. you. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, if you missed this earlier, they all work in the same way. So you've got this lovely big centrepiece die, but then you interchange in the different pieces, yes. right? So I'm going to go with the frame. So I've got the, um, let's have a little look. I've got the outer frame. Then I've got the detail in the frame. And then we've got miss you, thank you, or just for you. I think I'm going to do a miss you because there is a lot of friends I could send this to right now, right? So although big announcements, folks, the UK yes. is coming out of lockdown <laughs> in the next few months. So we've found out all about details over the last uh, last night. We found June out. June 21st, Bo isn't it? Bo Joe started telling us how that's all going to work out. Do you know, I'll tell you a funny story. So uh, my maiden name is Johnson. <laughs> and uh, my mum tried to tell the kids <laughs> that Boris Johnson was her cousin, right? <laughs> and, and he said, it's all, cause, cause at one point when we were coming towards the end of lockdown, I would take the kids around to stand on the driveway so they could like wave to them cause they hadn't seen them in ages. And my mum then she said, I've been on the phone to Boris Johnson cause he's our cousin. And Boris Johnson says, it's all right for you to give your nana a cuddle. <laughs> And then of course I have to be the rotten mother who breaks the kids' hearts and say, that's not true, you can't go and do that. But um, yes, so uh, yes, Johnson's my maiden name, no relation to Boris. <laughs> Just adding that in there really quickly, right? <laughs> Despite what my mother might tell you, okay? Right, here we go. So, I'm going to cut the Miss You on here. Oh, let's use our Gemini Pro, right? Now, I'm going to use this the way that it'll tell you in the instructions for all about die cutting machines, right? I'm going to put the die on. And then I'm going to put the card over top of here, right? And then I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to put this one down here and I'll pop the details on there. And then I'm going to do the outer one and I'm going to put the blue ones on there. And then I'll put all them together and we're going to send them through the machine, Ben. Um, the interchangeables are available, aren't they? Yes, I forgot to mention this. If you're in Club Inspire, which yes, we assume most of you are. Yes, only if you're in Club Inspire, though. General behind. release is not till tomorrow. Yeah. Now, I know all of you watching will be in Club Inspire. And if you're not, you can easily go and get signed up. Um, but yes, it is free to join Club Inspire. But you need to be in. Because, for example, we always let you guys get sneak peek ahead of time on the new launches. So you want to be on with the new launches? You've got to get on there now. Absolutely right. And like um, Sarah said, it's free to join. It's free to, to sign up. Uh, literally, it's just like typing in your email address pretty much, isn't it? There's not any forms or anything you need to fill out. So yeah, get joined up. But yeah, this is sort of a bit of a, a sneaky kind of, you can get in there if you're in Club Inspire. So definitely uh, join up if you're not yet. Remember, we know I think sort of 99% of you are, but if you're not, um, grab it so you can get it today. If not, worst case scenario, you can obviously get it tomorrow when this launches for real. I mean, it's launched for real now. I mean, you can still get it now. This isn't a joke. Yeah, you can still don't wait get till it. tomorrow. But, you know. Don't wait till tomorrow. Go and get it now. Just go and get signed up. Is there any... Do you know, actually, is there anybody watching who is not a member of Club Inspire? Because if there is, we can absolutely walk you through exactly how to do it. It would be a crying shame for you not to sign up to Club Inspire because when you sign up, we start giving you points straight away, all right? So, here we go. Just getting all of these ready. Got all those die cut pieces out. Watch what I'm going to do, Ben, right? I've got the blue first. I'm going to lift this one up on top of it with a few little foam pads. Yeah. I'm going to slightly off center this one so that we've got a little bit of a shadow coming through. And then we've got the Miss You is going to sit on the top of there. Love so I'm just that. going to build all of that up um, and kind of make that, lay, lay that up as it was then. All right. Um, thank you for all these lovely messages still coming in. Um, sooner rather than later, we will, of course, um, show you all of the demos that Sarah's done so you can get voting on your demo of the show. Uh, Paula Puckett on Facebook says, Ben, you have been immortalised in a puzzle. I have. Very excited about that. As I said earlier on, um, there's three things that I always wanted in life. One was to be named, have a roundabout named after me, which I have. Uh, oh, the second thing was, was to have an alpaca named after me, which has happened in the last few months. 
<laughs> don't ask. Uh, and also be immortalised in a puzzle. So that, that's it, all three ticked off. Uh, Tony on YouTube says, Ben, you learn from this show in every way. I now know how to say butterfly in four different languages. Tony, you are welcome. You think you just come here for like crafty knowledge, but no, we impart knowledge, you know, of all sorts. You know, we are multilingual here on this, on this channel. Uh, and Linda saying... Well, oh, only the four languages that we put on our packaging, though. Don't ask us for anything outside of that, because then we haven't got a clue. Exactly right. Shh. Uh, and Linda on Facebook says, ordered the Jigsaw die an extra mount board. Can't wait to try them out. You are going to have so much fun with those. Uh, Mdieta on YouTube just saying, great tutorials today, Sarah. I've had a blast with Sarah today. Actually, I mean, I always have a blast with Sarah, but even more so today, we have had some brilliant, brilliant deals, some great um, tutorials, great demonstrations. If you missed the earlier launch show, on the Gemini Pro, you definitely need to go back and have a look at that one as well because there were so many great demos um, on that show too. So definitely catch up later on if you get a chance, um, particularly to see how happy Sarah was earlier on when she found out that she could make her jigsaws into hearts. She was doing like a little, it was a funny little sort of bird flappy dance is the best way I can describe it as. Bird flappy dance. You were sort yeah. of flapping, flapping your arms like a bird, weren't you? Yeah. And like dancing around sort of going, she was sort of going, oh, 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 oh like that and did I can't really do, you'd have to watch it back you'd have to watch it back you watch it back right just so you know guys for this card I've cut my card stock to eight inches by 11. okay the reason I've done that is so that you could make it out of a sheet of eight and a half by 11 or a sheet of a4 I'm just doing it in half and then in half again there right so all we're going to do is we're going to fold this over so that we've now got a half fold card right and then we're going to fold this one over here as well so this becomes like a bit of a tent fold card right now to make the whole card kind of come together really easily all i've done is i've got a couple of little bits of cardstock here so i've got one of the beautiful designer papers don't you be going moving there so i'll pop this across the bottom then yeah and Ooh, that's nice, nice and simple it's nice that one isn't it yeah and I, I, then i've got another one to go across here that i've just done a little bit of matting and layering on all right so that's going to go onto here and then all i'm going to do is this one here but i just want it to kind of stick up halfway brilliant so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take those again i've got some nice big large foam pads because i think the large foam pads are brilliant for this so the large foam pads go on to the bottom and then they are going to go kind of halfway like that, right? And then every easel card needs a stopper. So I've got a nice stopper at the bottom. Ooh, and again, these super-sized foam pads just make all of your easel stoppers kind of really quick and easy. Yeah. So those of you who do a lot of easels, get the super-sized foam pads that we have on the website, right? I'm going to lie that on there like that, Ben. And then I've literally got a nice little, just a nice little ribbon, and, uh, and a couple of little gems just to finish that off. Super duper. Oh. I think we found out as well from your question earlier on that 99.9% .9 of people who are watching right now are in Club Inspire, but there are just a, uh, a few people a handful of people uh, who aren't. So we're, are we going to look at that, did you say, in just a bit, um, about all about all about Club Inspire? We'll walk you through it in just a second. I just want to see the end of this uh, demo, first of all. And then once we've done that, uh, we'll come back and recap on all of um, Sarah's make so you can vote on your demo of the show. Uh, we'll have a look, another look at the jigsaw coming up, and then I'll pick my winner as to who's going to win um, the jigsaw. There Lots you go. In. There's a now, there, there's that one, and if I show you the other one that I did... I did that one and oh, yeah. I did the best wishes. That's my favourite one. Yeah, that was really nice. And to be honest, the other demos I've done are kind of like, so I've got like my, my, my butterfly jigsaw. Well, the the jig, yeah, you've got the jigsaw that I've got that I'm giving away. Yeah. Um, so, so maybe... So make, they're a little bit hard to stick on the wall. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, you vote for it, I'll, I'll, I'll get it on there, right? Don't. So then you've got like the... I will go with our nice little butterfly jigsaw. Yeah. And I, I will just have to stick it onto a rim. Um, do you know what I did with my last one? Yeah, you put it onto I stuck it on a little piece of acetate. Yeah. So I will do that while you explain to everybody about the, um, whatever it is you're explaining about, Ben. Okay. Some really important <laughs> Well, stuff. I'll tell you what we'll say. So the best wishes card is number one, all right? Best wishes is one. The card which Shara's just made is number two. And then we'll say the, uh, the butterfly jigsaw is number three. So best wishes one, miss you two. Uh, butterfly jigsaw is number three so get voting one two or three um right so we're going to have a look at a oh we're gonna have a look at a little video um all about um club inspire oh but i'm gonna do the i'm gonna do the voiceover am i oh this is exciting uh here we go 
I've never done this before. Oh, look at this. So you head on to our uh, website, you click on Club Inspire at the top there, and then you will see the little button here which says sign up now. So click there. As I said, it's so simple. So you pop in your name, pop in your email address, create a password, which is super simple. Confirm your password, all right? Press register, and there, you are done. I told you it was easy. I didn't realize it was that easy, but I knew it was, I knew it was fairly easy. I've never seen that video before. I'd like that. Oh, it's fairly new, but it's super handy, isn't it? Really handy, because it's easy for me just to stand here and go, oh, it's really easy to sign up and just pop in a few details. But literally, you just pop in a few details. And it, and it really, really is worth signing up for because then, you know, you, as you shop with this, and you will shop with us more and more, when particularly when you see deals like this, then you can build up the points. Uh, points mean, of course, prizes. Well, they don't mean prizes, but, you know, uh, it means that you get further up the rungs, the ladders, to be getting more off um, your shop. Discounts is what we absolutely love. And of course, it gets you in for deals like we had on the um, interchangeable sentiments there that you can buy before anybody else. Um, right, Mal Malaya on uh, Facebook says, to the person who learned how to say butterfly in four languages on CTV, here's another one for you. Oh, butterfly in Hawaiian. Oh, Malaya, Malia, Malia, sorry. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right. Um, hmm. Go on, try. Pelelehua. Oh, it sounds good anyway. P P Even if you said it wrong, it sounds really good. Pulelahua. Is that, Mali, is that right? P U L E L E H U A. Pulelahua is butterfly in Hawaiian. Um, I like that. I like Pulelahua. I also like Mariposa as well, which is great. Um, listen, thank you for that. Listen, uh, I need to remind you of our Out of This World Deal, 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 Deal. The deal. The Out of This World deal today is the Large Dine Stamp Folder. This is brilliant, particularly if you are uh, investing in some new dies and stamps currently and you want somewhere to keep them uh, nice and stored and safe. This is super nice and sturdy, beautifully made. Um, and the point about this is you've got your little tag there so you can label up all of the dies and stamps that you've got in there. And then we open it up. You've got the ring binder in there, so it's super sturdy. Gonna hold quite a lot, I would have thought, um, of your magnetic plate. You've then got your little pockets in the front which are elasticated, so you can pop all your bits and pieces in there too. But the great thing about this Out of This World deal is that not only are we going to give you the folder, but you are also going to get two packs of your magnetic panels included, which is six. So, you know what? You can keep all of your um, dies in there. And on the back, as you can see here, you can stick your stamps too. So it's all about keeping your stamps and your dies in one place uh, and making sure you don't lose them. I think it's particularly great to have like magnetic panels, particularly when you've got like small dies like this which I, I would imagine have the chance of getting lost um, but when you've got a set like this it is all nicely stored away for you and you have got them there for when you need them that is your out of this world deal 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 <laughs> Uh, right, we have got about 10 minutes remaining. Um, loads of votes coming in for the demo of the show. I'll reveal my winner for comment of the show very shortly indeed as well. But let us just recap on the jigsaw dies. These have been amazing. Now we are looking at almost 80% of the stock already gone. These have flown out of the door. Literally one of the best things I've seen this year, I think. Um, I've really, really loved this collection um, so much because it's just gonna bring absolute joy to whoever you send these to. And actually, it's gonna bring absolute joy to the uh, person who gets to create and um, make these as well. And as we said, you know, for crafty projects, scrapbooking, or just because you wanna make um, a jigsaw out of all those photos that you've got on your phone, this is phenomenal. This is gonna be the kick that you need to get those photos off your phone um, to start making these jigsaws uh, for grandma, for granddad, for mum, for dad, getting the kids involved. I love the idea as well, you know, of, of um, Sarah was showing us earlier on, getting the kids to draw their own um, pictures that you can then create into jigsaws as well. You know, when the world reopens again, making jigsaws at the school, fate, uh, you know, supporting local charities potentially, but also, you know, making a bit of money for yourself as well, because you're gonna get 20 sheets of your mount board included with your 10 by eight, and then you've also got the opportunity to buy more mount board too, so that you can just start making jigsaws 
jigsaws galore. And believe you me, as soon as you get this back, you are not gonna stop using it. It's fantastic. $49.99 or $59.95 is the deal on this, already saving $17.99 or $19.95. And then you get another 20% off if you're a platinum member as well. So that's what another, well, it's about another 10 pounds, isn't it? So it comes down to about $39.99 or around about $48 today for the 10 by eight. If you wanna go for the five by seven, we've got that available for you too. That's also flying out of the door. Um, loads of the stock of that has already gone uh, and once again allowing you to create you know beautiful projects like this and, and by the way we mentioned this earlier on and Sarah was saying does anyone want to see a tutorial on this that is going to be happening because the response funnily enough uh, was very very positive to that so um, keep your ears pricked we will be giving you details of that uh, very very soon indeed 29.99 or 39.95 for the 5 by 7 die that also comes with mount board my tip is whichever size you're going for add more mount board to your cart as well because you will just not stop using this die once you get it back right we've got about seven minutes to go so what can we do Sarah? I thought we could do something new, something different. Right. And I've not tried this, but somebody suggested this, okay? So I've just been and got some of our magnetic sheets out and I'm just gonna have a little bit of a feel. So this is obviously metal. So that's the side that sticks. That side doesn't stick. That side sticks, yes. right? So the black side is what sticks. So I'm gonna try and stick this to here and turn this into a jigsaw. <gasps> right? Magnetic jigsaw. Magnetic jigsaw. Now, I, don't, I, I haven't tried, I've never actually tried cutting my magnetic shim before. I have cut my magnetic shim several times, but not through actually trying to cut it. So in theory, I know the magnetic shims cut no problem, right? Now, you can just go and use any sort of old craft magnet, right? You don't, I just happen to have handy to, to size the ones that we use to store all of our dies on, okay? So just as you would, if you were sticking it onto anything else, Else, you're going to go onto here and you're going to maneuver this into place and give this a really 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 good stick down okay don't yep. do a half heart when you come to do your sticking don't do this half-hearted because this is the bit that is really going to make this so can you see I'm giving it a good wiggle right up and right down and then you're going to leave that to set now I did one of these onto a sheet this morning in my creating craft show okay and this is one of our ones that happened to be black on both sides right so i'm going to try and do this lovely picture this is if you missed me telling you before this is my mum and this is my sister Aww. so my sister's four years younger than me and my mum i tell you what if i look as good at 60 as my mum looked at 50 i'll be thrilled a bit so this was two years ago at our helen's hindu Lovely. She was lovely. Amazing. We had, a, we had a lovely weekend. Right, so I'm lying, lining this up over top of there and sticking this into place. Now, if this works, the kids are going to be absolutely thrilled because this can stay on the fridge yeah. at Nana Sue's house. Right? So uh, they're, they're with my mum today. So we'll be able to see. Uh, we'll oh, so you genuinely don't know if this is going to work or not? No, I've, I've, oh, never, good. I've, I've right. never had a go. So I just don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to cut through all right. But look, we'll give it a go and we will learn together, folks. There's right? only one way so, to find out. No magnetic shim, right? And I'm sending these through. Do you know these, these plates have taken an absolute battering today? Yeah. And they're still as flat as, as a pancake. Um, Paul is just yeah. saying, Sarah, what do you think of a circular jigsaw puzzle die? I don't see there's any reason why not. We've got hearts and butterflies. Oh, whatever, I just happen to have the butterfly in the heart multimedia dies here yeah. with me. So, uh, right, can you see? Oh, it's cut. Oh, yes, right, it's cut. The glue still, even though that was from this morning, the glue still wasn't 100% dry. So maybe the learning is, give it, leave it overnight, yeah. right? But it appears to have cut. So in theory, this should work. Should I do it straight onto the magnetic? Right, are you going to peel off here? So in theory, what we should be able to do, even though it's stuck down a little bit, is leave that there. Are you going to put, oh, it's coming, right, it's coming off it, in pieces. Yeah. But it's actually cut. This has worked, right? Can you see, they're coming off there, no problem. Love so just give it. me a couple of seconds and I'll pop all these pieces out 
and we will do we will have the well, perfect jigsaw just whilst you're popping those out i can't because i know we're running out of time a little bit here um demo of the show and um we will uh show you that again in a minute is card number one which was the um obviously the first uh, card that sarah made with the interchangeable sentiments the best uh, which we will see in just a little while um so thank you for all your votes on that one and thank you to cheryl for saying i love the jigsaw dies what an awesome idea this is you guys definitely rock uh, well thank you guys as well for all the suggestions that you've had coming in too of what you might be using uh, all of these jigsaw dies Four. Um, Monkey Head Bonkers has just asked a question, which was, when is the HSN preview coming Ooh, up? Well, HSN Craft Day for March is March 2nd, yep. which means the preview is next Thursday. Okie dokie, as in this, actually, this, Thursday, this coming. Thursday, because it's next Thursday, next Tuesday is the actual show. Wow, okay, brilliant stuff. Uh, that is, yes, this uh, this coming Thursday then, so look out for that. Yeah, it's March next week, can you believe? It doesn't kind of compute with me, because it's only it's like the 22nd today or something, it isn't like it? That. 23rd. March on Monday it is. Start of our new schedule as well, of course. But look how this is coming together. Just brilliant. Oh, the kids are going to absolutely yeah. love this. Let's have a look. Is that my mouth? This is the problem, you see. I tried to take it out in order so that I could put the jigsaw puzzle together a little bit easier. So here you go. Now we know it works. Magnetic jigsaws. Love, love, love it so much. Um, can, uh, my, I need to pick my winner as well, don't I? With only go two on. minutes left. Now, I did say that flattery would get you everywhere. Flattery would get you everywhere. So Burke Buns on YouTube. Uh, you need to get in touch with us. Burke Buns on YouTube. Prizes at Crafters Companion. Uh, co.uk.com Prizes at Crafters Companion. Uh, Burke Buns, your comment was Ben, you are the funniest, best dancing and singing, most good looking guy on Crafters TV, and my favourite. Uh, also, I would never accidentally call you Joe either. <laughs> Pick me pretty please. Bert Buns, you're the winner. <laughs> Great comment. Probably the comment of the week so far. Uh, yeah, Bert Buns, get in touch with us. Prizes at craftingscompanion.com and we'll get that jigsaw puzzle out to you. And as if she's timed it uh, oh, perfectly, absolutely. it's to done. perfection. Magnetic jigsaw for my mum's fridge. Ready, boom. Fantastic. What can I say about the show? Oh. Just before we go, can you pick up card number one, which was the demo of the show, the beautiful, uh, the, sorry, the best, that it's one. Delicious. Yes, that was demo of the show. That's going on the Crafty Walk of Fame. So thank you for all your votes on that one. What a show. If you've still got stuff in your basket, make sure you check it out, whether it's the jigsaw dies, whether it's the pro, whatever it might be. Um, thank you so much for joining in with the show. Uh, don't forget as well, the new schedule, which starts on Monday. The brand new schedule is at 12 till half one. The first show, which will be the wake up call with Craig weekdays, three till five, seven till nine are your other two shows, which will be the usual shows. Things like your Monday makers, things like your launch days and your, uh, your cart loads. Uh, and then at the weekend, 12 till half one uh, will be the play your car crafts right not play your cards right play your crafts right there's wake up call that's monday to friday saturday play your crafts right and then sunday uh, will be the softer side of life sarah thank you so much what a show when are you back hey what day is it today tuesday, tuesday. i still don't know no, okay. Thursday, I'm doing the HSN preview show, so I'll definitely see you on Thursday. And I will see you, good sir, at six o'clock in the morning. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, Ben Mosby. You have been selected for an early morning run with Sarah Davies, and I've told everybody, there's like a thousand people watching now, so now you have to do it. Yay. Uh, no, I look forward to that in the morning. I'm also looking forward to because he's just arrived. He's just stuck his head through the window. Craft Vault coming up in an hour. Arr, it's with Craig. <laughs> <laughs> See you in an hour. He's not a pirate, he's Scottish. <laughs>